Okay, here we go. Yeah, acquire the golden braid. That is going to be in the hinterlands. That's going to be very exciting to see. Okay, that center square, very important. And that one actually, I mean, I, it's like a relatively slow collection square, but you could rush it if you if you really, really value that center square. Yeah. Oh, and one of the newer squares, Kill Chief Bloodfiend is on here. I know that oh, the, big the baby. players should know where this guy is. But also, this kind of like activates a ravine a little bit more that a lot of people have been kind of avoiding. We do have right. a square which is like kill three tree spirits, and there is actually one on the way to Chief Bloodfiend. So that kind of gives you a bit more of a reason to go for that revered spirit ash in between that little that little tunnel area. Then also getting the tree spirit. There is the double head turtle talisman um, as well. And oh, that, that is ravine. so valuable, yeah. And that is a huge talisman. So even if talismans isn't on the board, getting that might be worth it. And then also now Chief Bloodfiend being down there. Um, so I think this will be very, very interesting to watch uh, as to like what they are going to pick. There is also kill a boss after inflicting three different statuses. Like we said, DLC status is king. But what about oh, yeah. three statuses? Frost, bleed, rot, Grease, Rot, yeah. whatever you got, you know, that's going to be interesting to see which which boss they pick for that. Is it Hippo? Is it Dane? Is it Black Knight Idrid? Um, those are the three popular picks. That's why I pick those three every single time. Uh, but those are like mostly the go to uh, for a lot of players. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what, what they're going to pick here. Now, Dom, to me, the first things that are really jumping out, honestly, both diagonals have pretty fast squares on them, I feel like. Mm -hmm. You've got Kill Loger, who is just immediately accessible. Uh, killing a Demi-Human Swordsman, you know, if they go for Onze, that can be very quick as well. Uh, whereas on the other diagonal, you know, Blood, the Chief Bloodfiend is not a very strong boss. So if they choose to go for it with those statuses, they could make pretty quick work of it. Um, yeah. I'm not super familiar with how fast the DLC armor sets are. I know some people opt to like throw more off the cliff to just immediately get his uh, his armor set. Uh, what are you thinking, Dom? What are you thinking? Well, according to the new rule changes, you can't do that anymore. You have to actually kill him. Now, uh, NPC now, and gravity kills are not allowed. Okay, so my, my understanding was that was only for squares that included killing enemies. So like killing NPCs, you couldn't throw them off. But in terms of just acquiring things i thought that was still okay but uh, apparently so that's not the case you're saying no no you just you're not all allowed right. to npc kill gravity kill at all yeah very cool all right i i'm actually stoked to see that because i mean from software i don't know if they do this on purpose but i swear every like every single invasion in the game is right next to a cliff and so like it gets boring because like there is nothing unique about NPC invasions when you can just throw them all off the cliff. Hallelujah! Yes! We are the off! The first delicious pancake has been made. Here We've we done go. it, chat. Easy we flip. Have done it. Didn't fall on the floor. Didn't land on the ceiling. Right back in the pan. Here we go. Hot and sizzling. No splatter. Okay, it looks it's like... beautiful. Pooh is going here for larval tiers right away. Made it nighttime. Very smart play. So larval, uh, larval tier here. Oh, straight right. pickup in Graveside Plain. And then going straight for the other two, I'm assuming, rushing yeah. this square right here, column five, row two. From what I've heard, this is if this is on the board, it is definitely one to go for basically right away, uh, unless there's something higher priority. I'm interested in what Parky has in mind for this, uh, because she clearly is not prioritizing it. Yeah, she might be eyeballing that, uh, honestly, killing Dane square that I saw, if I'm not crazy. Kill yeah. Dryleaf Dane in a duel with three statuses might be something that she's eyeballing. She does have Rot Grease in her inventory here, so that might be, okay, yeah. honestly, a, a play that I, uh, I'm i very okay with. I, I'm very okay with statusing Dane, because Dane, compared to a lot of other NPC or NPC bosses, actually doesn't have a flask. Uh, so you don't have to deal with him stalling out the fight a little bit longer, and you can get that kill pretty quickly. Looks like she's going for that great katana pickup here as well. Pooh now right. reaching the three cross grace, grabbing that shadow, and then we're going to see where he's going to go next. He's possibly going to be grabbing that larval tier, um, as well. Oh, wait, you know what? You know what? Josh, check this yes. out. Yes, yes, Dom. I, I hope you're ready for Show this. Show me. I don't know if I'm ready. Chat, say it with me. It is time for... The map! The map oh is my. back! No. no! Oh, I wasn't... Oh, my God. I never thought we would see it again. Here we are. Map City. Grand Poop Bear currently going to be going for uh, these other larval tiers. There is one that's going to be straight it. down here. 
And there's going to be another Larval tier for Grand Pooh Bear that's going to be at Prospect Town, where the Kindred is. Another Larval tier pick up here. So you can get these three uh, pretty quickly. Parky currently now going across the bridge. Uh, although, I'm not going to lie, where she is going across and where the bridge actually is is a little off here. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know no, what? No, that's the Elden Ring map being inaccurate, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the map is very inaccurate. Very inaccurate here. Uh, but Again. yeah. Everything on our end, the technical side of everything, is in perfect working condition. And anything that goes wrong <laughs> is uh, it's somebody else's fault. Yeah, just that the coordinates are a little wrong, you know? It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. crazy. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, it looks like Grandpa is going straight for that third larval tier right away. Going to be marking that square. While Parky goes here to uh, Tiolier, apparently. Not Tiolier, or however else you say yep. it. Uh, He's French. Yeah. It's a very, uh, very beautiful. Oh, that is the wrong screen. I'm. So oh sorry, yes, I no. I like looking at this screen. That's good. Yeah, no gameplay, no board, no not. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at that one. <laughs> no, I, I do kind of. I honestly really like what Parky's doing here because I am sure she saw that three larval tears right away and knows that it is a highly, highly contested square. Mm -hmm. And for me personally, I really like to look at those contested squares and not leave it up to chance. You know, if, if I know something's going to be contested, I don't want to like, I, I don't want like one miss input on my part to be the reason I don't get the square, right? I would rather just yeah. go for something that is like much easier to secure um, that's not going to be contested and, you know, start building that strategic advantage elsewhere. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree here. Parky here going for the Teolia skip, by the way, which is definitely a little tricky. Um, absolutely and pulls it off your first try that is absolutely amazing sometimes for some reason it does bug out i don't know why uh but yeah, torrent Parker is here, a perfectly coded beast yeah <laughs> worked out just perfectly uh, great job and, uh, on her our part and yeah Pooh marking larval tears yeah meanwhile Pooh did get the larval tears finished that up really cleanly so gg to him that is the first square marked in season four bingo brawlers momentous occasion absolutely momentous and the first square marked by Grand Pooh Bear in any season. How exciting. Bring wow. out the it's fanfares. Amazing. I want to hear some tunes. First square. Whee! Uh yeah, some <laughs> some shadow levels uh, here for Grand Pooh now after grabbing uh all the larval tiers is probably going to be very useful for him while Fort Reprimand is on the rise here for Parky. Uh Yeah kind of shaking her head i don't know if it's because she is just nervous or maybe she's excited that he went for larval tears and she made the right call i love that when that happens when you're like okay i think they're gonna go for this so i'm gonna go for this and if then that square actually gets marked you're like you know what i am so relieved there's a lot of tension that kind of gets off of your back because you're like okay i made the right call i'm not being challenged on what i'm doing right now i have right time. yeah I got so nervous when I saw her skipping that grace for some reason. I thought she was going to go for, for Edred, and then I was like, no, okay, I forget. There's just another grace right here yeah. to go for. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is a really, like, um, I think this is a really strong early game play from Parky because, the, I mean, a lot of people do this because right away you get a free 80k just on the ground right here. Just free cash. Yeah, it, uh, there's a, and then also the Shadow Rune Four, which is actually just like right before it as well. So you get like right, oh, like eighty one thousand or something like that. No, maybe even eighty five thousand. Oh, it's it's definitely yeah, solid something here. something like that. Yeah. Pooh here, sadly, however, does die to the TLA skip. Not sure why that oh, happened. No. A little bit of a shame. Um, uh, but hey, second time is the best. That's time. why you grab the grace, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I still <laughs> fail this sometimes. It is sometimes really, like, finicky. It is very, very finicky. For it sure. is very finicky, especially this first part where you have to land kind of in a little nook between rocks. Because you can't land on the part of the rock that looks like you would land on it. You actually land kind of, like, nestled in a little crack. And yeah. uh, looks like the rest of this should be... Yeah, that's looking good. So and GG's who doesn't poo, like to leave... the skip. Uh, uh, nestled in a crack. Um... So, so true. Right you are, Dom. 101%. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, when it comes to, like, skips and stuff like that, uh, there was a question that actually was brought up because of, of that specific skip, uh, skip right there, the Atelier, uh, Atelier skip, is do you think FromSoft actually intentionally puts those into the game without really making it obvious that that is intended to be scaling the walls of a mountain with your goat horse? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to say no shot. 
because there have been other parkour spots in the game where they have just ripped them out as soon as they discovered that people could uh, could actually parkour that. Uh, this one, thankfully, doesn't actually skip any sort of progression, so I, I doubt yeah. they'll touch it. But yeah, I mean, there's been so many, so many spots where I think they just didn't anticipate you being able to like actually traverse the geometry mm. that said you would think after a while that they would just put up a, a flat invisible wall if they didn't want you climbing on it right hey, hey you never know you never know the from soft <laughs> do be sneaky um yeah. but we're gonna see here okay so parky here grabbing the dane grace now i'm going to be going for i th i'm pretty sure she's going for this dane fight with uh three statuses going to be going straight to highland cross gonna be grabbing the monk's Missive, I think is what it's called. Uh, basically, basically the, the letter and yeah, uh, the letter and right, gesture uh, here to uh, yeah, ask the ask to do the fight. I honestly, when I first played the DLC and I saw that, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm asked to like <laughs> yeah. partake in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Where are you? Where are you? You know. And Dane's uh, the homie. He's so honorable. He doesn't even doesn't even drink a flask. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I still wonder, like, why exactly Dane of all NPCs does not have a flask. Also, apparently, you can parry hand-to-hand, -hand, which I was not aware of. Uh, so that's cool. That is, yeah, that's sick. I, I, so, how difficult is it to actually proc all three of these statuses on Dane? I know he's pretty squishy. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, she's, okay, no, yeah, that make, yeah with the club, that makes sense for procking this rot. Yeah, here we go. You can't you can't put it on the on the frost infusion yet. I don't think Let's she has here. frost on her katana though, unless I missed it here. Really? Okay. She, she is gonna be I, I just assumed that she would. Yeah, clubbing Dane here to make sure she gets that rock proc. I would say that this is very common now at this point. Uh using the club as a as a as a status stick. Yeah, you don't upgrade yeah, it or anything, but you just use it to uh, you know. Uh, oh, she does have ice on it. Okay. Okay, yeah. That makes there sense because she wants the three statuses. There's frost. Beautiful. So now just waiting on the bleed. Yep. Rot and frost already procced here. A couple more hits should activate the bleed. Dane being very nice here, to be honest. Not doing any crazy combos, not running. Not and jumping with the and getting ivory. There's the bleed. There's the bleed here. She should be getting this uh, double square here in just a moment. Oh, there's the jump. Okay. NPCs jumping feels so bad when it's, you're fighting them <laughs> and there it is good very clean kill pretty sure very that was very nice actually i mean there's a little chip missing from her hp that is two squares yeah that's huge two squares for one absolutely Blocking fantastic that row two. wow that's very nice and now and you know if she ends up getting that golden braid that's going to be really difficult for Pooh to contest yeah on top of Threats that, by the way, also lines. NPC bosses uh, did add that one NPC boss for her on column two, row five. So True. That was triple synergy right there, actually. Wow. I, I can't even believe how, like, I can't believe I missed that before. That's, that's a great play from Parky. Yeah. I, I actually, I think foregoing the three larval tiers was absolutely the correct play. Very, very nice. Okay, looks like she's going to be going for Loger here next. And Pooh now going to be going for upgrades. He's going for that Great Katana as well. Fan favorite as well. The Great Katana. Right. Uh, if you don't have to sell it, everyone's going to use it type situation. Uh, it's just way too good. It's got a great move set. It's got a lot of poise buildup. It's got innate bleed on it. It's pretty much the Uchi Katana of Season 4. That's the best way to put it. Have you seen any anybody that like seems to favor the backhand blades? Probably Aggie. Although okay. Aggie has kind of come around. I've seen him in some matches where he's like, you know what? The Great Katana is pretty great. But uh, I would say he definitely kind of like leans towards backhand blades. He's more comfortable with backhand blades, I think, out of any other player right. from the from, I, I uh, do feel like matches. that L2 on backhand blades is so strong. And yeah. then also the, syn the synergy with um, Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, it, yeah. it actually does just crazy damage. I feel like it even outpaces the great katana in the late game yeah it, it definitely can i mean there was a i mean the uh gdqx match between Aggie yep, absolutely I, I i absolutely got out dps uh, in the late game even though i was using the great katana uh with aggie using the backhand blades it was very very solid um 
On top of that, you also have the Lord Blood's Exaltation Talisman, which you can buy from Kale when you blood proc. Would it be good for the katana? Sure, but it's definitely way stronger on a backhand blade with uh, blood infusion. Yeah, true. So what is what is while while Parky is going for this Logger Square, what is Pooh up to at the moment? Looks like he went for an upgrade here. Has the Great Katana with ice as well, and is working towards what looks to be Ancient Dragon Man. Okay, maybe trying to make progress on the NPC bosses as well. Yeah, there is Ancient Dragon Man on row one, column four, and then NPC bosses, column two, row five. Uh, okay. So that is definitely, you know, two things that he might be eyeballing at this point. Trying to maybe block her out on that column, but then also maybe try and push for row one if he uh, feels like doing perfume bottles only. Yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely a play here. Um, and it looks like that Parky's thinking the same thing, currently going straight towards yeah. the same. This is our first race at this point. Yep. I wonder if it would have been better for Parky to go for Ancient Dragon Man instead of Logar, just to press that NPC boss synergy. And also that but, I mean, she's she Sorry. still gets the square out of it and presses advantage on a diagonal at the same time. So I don't think she's really going to miss out much if she loses this square. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure. This is going to be interesting to see uh, execution-wise. Uh, I remember mm -hmm. uh, the coaching session that we had about a couple of days ago between Parky and Pooh, where Aggie and I were coaching. This was one of the fights that Pooh I, I coached through on how to deal with NPC motions and how to punish and not be too greedy but still get enough hits in that you you know don't feel like you're getting screwed over. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Oh, Almost dice the skeleton, man. Okay, gets past him. There is a really cool jump you can do here, by the way, to ba bypass this whole section. It is a little risky. But the jump is so hard, though. It is. It is. Uh, after about 30 minutes of practicing, I am semi-consistent at it, but uh, it is definitely risky for sure. Poop entering here the first uh, Ancient Dragon Man fight, though. I'm really curious. He does have the bubble tier here, so this is actually okay. really interesting. He he actually is more of a, a defensive uh, physic tier user, which I honestly think is going to be really good here, especially for having um, already a pretty strong offensive weapon, making sure he covers all of his grounds. Gets nice pokes here. Goes for that R1, R1 uh, poke combo. Backs off per perfectly. Very nice Yeah, to I mean, see. Great Katana is specifically... It feels like it is specifically so good for NPCs, and there are so many NPCs in the DLC. It just makes sense to go for. Yeah. There we go. Nice bleed proc as well now. So he's getting, he has a frost and bleed. Parky going to be joining in now on this fight. However, doesn't have any armor. Go. Pooh opted to use some of his starting capital of the 160,000 to go for the armor set in round table, which he's allowed to buy and um, give him a bit more resistance in case he does get hit. So Parky not having any armor besides that Dane's hat puts her at a little bit more risk. I don't know if they've leveled Shadow yeah. at all. I Hopefully they did a at least a little bit here. Uh, but if Parky knows his fight well, this should uh, be very interesting. It looks like it might be a Pooh snipe, though. He's currently on a really good pace. Yeah, and, and you know the damage of that I think will be a bit mitigated by the fact that Parky will have will still have advantage on three NPC bosses. But I do really yeah. like to see Pooh go for this like more defensively minded playstyle, especially considering that he has less experience. So like these choices that he's making are going to allow him to make more mistakes without being severely punished for it. Right. No, I, I would agree. I would agree. That bubble tier is still standing strong this whole fight, which is He's playing amazing. really clean, honestly. <laughs> He's playing really, really well. Playing uh, safe, playing secure. Just needs a couple more hits here. Flask is already gone. Parky is catching up here a little bit with damage. He's one more R1. There it is for Pooh. He gets to mark the square. That is a snipe on there the board is. from Season 4. The first snipe of the season. First snipe of the season. Unbelievable. Oh my God, Dom. Actually amazing. That is so great. That is so great. Very yeah, exciting. I mean, it, Parky was catching up. I wonder if that's mainly from the fact that she chose more offensive Physic tiers. But yeah, not quite enough to secure the square. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what she currently has for a buff, but she does have an attack bonus here, as we can see on her character. I, I believe that is from a Physic. So that might be either uh, multi-hits Physic tier, right. or maybe just a... a it's it's got to be multi-hits. Um, mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just their talisman. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which talismans they buy. I did kind of miss out on that. Uh, Pooh running straight back to Hugh here. 
going to be possibly. Oh, his He's katana wasn't fully the... upgraded. That would explain the lack of damage. Okay, yeah. He was at 22, not 24. That is definitely a difference. Okay. That's definitely a difference. But you know what? It doesn't look like he got punished. He's going to lose a little bit of time because he had to go back to uh, round table, but, you know, thankfully did not lose a square for it yet. Okay, there's another race here, though. This is uh, Parky going for a mausoleum night, and so is Pooh. But Parky oh, already has one NPC boss uh, over Pooh yeah. at this point. And uh, Pooh has access to that information because of the fact that he knows that Parky has done Dryleaf Dane, but maybe... I don't know. He doesn't know that she also did Ancient Dragon Man. So maybe he thinks that she pivoted off of this. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing is you yeah, don't know about Ancient Dragon Man, but do know about Dane. This is a little risky trying to... They're both entering at the same time. This is this is definitely interesting. For sure. Yeah. I'm going to see how this fight goes. This is definitely going to be we... coming down to execution. Definitely, yeah. Because now they both have fully upgraded weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, Parky's damage is going to be a little bit higher because of that, that Physic tier. But, you this know, Pooh is, is going to be able to make more mistakes with the, the armor and the bubble. Keep in mind, though, yeah, that when Parky does get this fight, Pooh still has to go kill Dane or any other NPC boss, whereas this is going to be her last one. So unless she has an incident, this is still Parky Square. Right. Now, do we have any other synergy with this knight here? Uh, armor have, sets. Uh, okay, there, yeah. So, you know, even if Pooh ends up losing this... He can maybe convert it into something else. Oh my god, absolute getting absolutely <laughs> clobbered by the knight here. <laughs> Made me a little nervous there, but But still alive. Still going strong. That's that one move. Okay. That, that that great sword of solitude, Ash of War, got me so much in the uh the first playthrough. It was definitely something. Oh, I I hate to say it, but I was I was molding. Yeah. On my first playthrough against this guy. I mean, he's the first boss I encountered, and he just... He just destroyed me. Yeah, first boss for many, I feel like, for sure. Um, but uh, a very... I think a very good NPC in the fact that, like, he kind of kind of uh, is the opposite of other NPCs, where he just tanks. Most NPCs get really weird and finicky, Ooh. and they roll, and they act all awkward he just absolutely eats a lot of your hits and just uh it's more of a a, a vigor check than anything else parky here getting and three NPC bosses square. at this point Pooh dying no. two hits away and now probably sees that square being marked does not also get the armor sets he's probably just going to pivot off of here um, that is a brutal death that's that's tough that's tough for sure yeah Good here for Parky, though. Going to be activating that column, too, now. Kill a boss with yeah. throwing attacks. Uh, and maybe going for armor. She's going straight for that Highland armor set, which is near the Red mm -hmm. Bear. Going to be marking her fifth square now. Uh, that's going to be really showing that column, too. Uh, and this is actually really good positioning because also she can then drop down and go straight towards one of the forges, the Talu Forge, to get the Smith Script Shield, but also get a legendary summon, which is also on this board here. Uh, so a lot of synergy in this area. Yeah, Parky's doing a really great job with the synergy plays here. So, you know, major, major, major props to her for identifying those synergies and going for them. Yeah. Okay, so Pooh here... Also just very clean lenses. gameplay. <gasps> oh, misses the skip. Oh, he's in his head, maybe. He might be in his head a little bit here. Losing square sometimes after a while, you just you, you, it happens to me all the time. I, I yeah. hate when that happens. Uh, but you know what? You can always you can always pull it back for sure, for sure. That there's two armor sets now here for Parky, and looks like she might be going for hippo. Okay, yeah, killing two hippos here. Okay, yeah, maybe oh. doesn't see the uh, legendary Ash of War plus the uh, throwing attack synergy play here. Um, going for uh, a shadow pickup as well, I'm assuming. She's looking for that altar from the looks of it. Uh, Pooh going back again. Going for Rolana? I think he... Is he going... What is he going here for? Just the... Parries? Is it for the parries? Yeah, I mean, could be. I feel like that's that's a oh, great boss for Paris. No, he's going for Vertigris Discus. He's grabbing the imbued sword key here. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this makes way more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes, makes way, way more sense. A hundred percent. It. I mean, it unfortunately doesn't build any threats, but it, whenever you're in Pooh's position, you really have to. You yeah, have to fine. start neutralizing threats where you can. Yeah. So you know, row four could end up being a. You know, a threat at some point. The frenzy NPC is definitely a way more of a long distance square. You, you gotta get through the mm -hmm. uh, the darklit catacombs, kill Jory, then travel all the way there. Um, that's I do wonder if you'd be better off pressing this row one. Maybe going for throwing attacks, neutralizing the column two, pressing advantage on row one. Possibly. Yeah, I think uh, leaving the burning the ceiling tree as a uh, possible pressure point because you have to kill Romina and Mesmer might be really nice. Mm -hmm. um, but also throwing attacks only, I feel like a lot of players aren't super comfortable with that. Uh, a lot of people know about the Smith Script Shield and doing the Discus Hurl strat, but I don't think a lot of players have had a lot of practice executing it. Right. Now, now Parky's in a position here where she has the luxury of being able to spend time on setup. You know, she's got a pretty, you know, commanding position on the board. Mm -hmm. And so if she wants to, she really can, you know, ride around, get some more skidoo. But it looks like maybe... And there, there's the discus from Pooh. Yeah, it looks like she's going for that legendary Ash, possibly into Smith's Grip Shield. Uh, this is a grid. This is a great play from Parky. If that if that's what she's going mm. for, it's a great, great idea for sure. Really pressuring that kill the frenzy NPC uh, or the maddening hand, uh, as you will, in Abyssal Woods. For Pooh is uh, a very good pressure point, but also a, a very annoying thing to do because you have to go all the way around to uh, like actually you could kill a hippo if you really wanted to, but. A lot of people go through the church district instead and then drop down to the first floor to then right. go through to uh, the, the Darklit Catacombs. Um, but we'll see. This is a board where the hippo play could be rewarding for sure. Possibly, yeah. 100%. It really just comes down to preference. But yeah, Parker here mm. entering that uh, forge now. So yeah, she's definitely doing the play that... Uh, Seems to be the best at the moment, which is really, really good. I do wonder, do you think she'll run down that that column? Do you think she'll just, just gun for it? Or do you think she'll pivot off and kind of, you know, leave that as a pressure point for Pooh? I think she would leave that as a pressure point. I think at this, at this point, yeah, I think that might be something where she's like, you know what? It's too early into the match. We're 25 minutes in. You want to go towards Abyssal Woods right now? You want to you want to deal with Jory yeah. 25 minutes in? Go for it. You know, <laughs> be my guest. I'm going to go and I'm going to do some other things instead. Right. Yeah, I mean, jo Jory's a really interesting one because you can just loop him. You can backstab loop him indefinitely and, you know, just just get the kill that way. But I've seen people really struggle to actually get it off. It's it's pretty it's a pretty tight timing Whoa. to go for. Yeah. That golem there spilling a soup, <laughs> trying to melt her. Oh, and we have, we have, uh, we have Pooh going into. Is this is this the same? Yeah, it's the same forge. It's the oh, same no. forge. He's he's sadly prepping himself to being sniped on legendary summon. This will tell him as well that she does have the Smith Script Shield. The mm -hmm. question now is who has more money, because no, right now no one has money to upgrade that Smith Script Shield to actually even do any damage, because you have to buy all the stones. Parker here being smart about it and grabbing a lot of the smithing stones that are laying around in the forge to kind of cheapen the blow uh, of yeah. upgrading this weapon. But uh, yeah, this is this might be just Pooh chasing his shadow at this point, uh, kind of going after Parky when she's already pretty far ahead on everything. Now, Pooh also does have Dryleaf Dane still alive, so he could potentially get away with having a lower upgrade level. That might be a possibility, although Dane is kind of rough with Smith Crypt Shield, I'm not going to lie. I tried it the other <laughs> I imagine day. Imagine he, he loves to roll. It's I a imagine. little rough, but uh, it is still yeah. very doable. Uh, that might be honestly not a bad play at all. He, he might be able to catch up uh, with that. He is going to lose out on this legendary Ash Summon, though. Yeah, that is that is a shame. So we'll we'll see. We'll definitely see here. But 
I'm really curious about what the next decision is after this. We're going to get money. Although there is the, the America's Rune uh, at Fort Reprimand. I don't think yeah, Pooh I don't has think picked that Pooh... up yet. Yeah, I don't think Pooh went over there. Yeah, there it is. There's okay, yeah. the marking. Pooh now should flying see pressure that. on row five as well. I don't think he's seen it right now. I think it's currently focused and not... Oh, he just skipped the script. Uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, he just saw that she marked that. He could memory of grace out. Did he get the shield at the very least? I didn't see. I think he did, right? There's the memory of grace. I, uh, he, I, I believe he got the shield. I believe so. Okay, it looks like that she's currently going towards or through ancient dragon men again. Okay, it looks like she's prepping for dragon hearts now. Okay, very interesting. They both killed uh, ancient dragon man. But she's going to be going uh, for the magma worm that's actually in this cave as well. For a lot of people that don't actually know, because you only just like you just drop down and skip everything. Right. Uh, if you just go up the staircase right here, uh, ancient dragon man is going to. No, sorry, not ancient dragon man. Uh, magma worm is going to be waiting for you there, um, just hanging out. I don't even know how he got in there. Just that tunnel's so small. Like, how did you, how did you get in that room? <laughs> yeah, you know, they squeezed him in. They actually they built the the, the tunnel in the cave around him. Mm hmm. Oh, true. Like a uh, like one yeah. of those uh, uh, feed the dragon type thing. Like give the dragon your treasure situation. I do in. know what you're talking about, and my answer to that is yes. I brought him in when he's a baby, and now he's too big to leave the room, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That perfect. Absolutely. You know that's Dom coming up with real answers to my to the questions here. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, so. I Parky's just, it seems like Parky's just pressing this advantage of like, okay, yeah. at this rate, I'm going to hit 13 before he does. So, you know, maybe I don't have to worry about lines. I can just focus on the fast squares. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Pooh is not going to be leaning into that Smith script shield as all, uh, at all. I don't think he grabbed it. I'm not sure, though. I did miss him possibly picking that up, but he grabbed Oh Mother here now, um, going towards possibly Water District. And giving himself access yeah. to other things, including possibly the Frenzy NPC. Parky not going straight for the Smith Script Shield thing either. She doesn't have a lot of money, so maybe this is uh, like a little bit of a uh, shopping spree for money by killing Magma Worm and another dragon that might give her enough to upgrade the Smith Script Shield. And also get Dragon Hearts on top of that. So that'd be a good play. Very clean fight here as well so far. This guy hits hard, by the way. Yeah. Like everything else in the DLC. Okay, Parky kind of stuck in the corner there for just a moment. Yeah. Pooh making his way downtown currently. That owl scares the bejesus out of me every time you go down this <laughs> the scree The screaming one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really annoying. But uh, I'm, I'm starting to get used to it now. Just like an anticipating it, you know? Yeah, you got to predict it. You got to try it. What you got to do is you got to try to make the noise at the same time as you're riding by. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, you do get, get a, in you, its head. You get a smithing 25 from, from this. Oh, I okay. I didn't even know that. That's actually really nice. Getting a dragon heart and a smithing 25 stone. Yeah. That is really, really useful, actually. Because, like, imagine if you have a remembrance boss weapon on your max. You could do that for a sword lance. You just grab the magma worm here, and next thing you know, you don't oh, have to clear true. a forge. Oh, true. Very true. Yeah. One dragon heart here. Uh, dragon heart here, though, for Parky going straight for that jagged peak Drake, that is uh, laying and okay. slumbering. Yeah, this makes sense. Just just cleaning up that square for sure. Um. It also, I, I, she's probably. I, I would imagine this is also a great play for Parky because it neutralizes the column five threat. You know, she may just be like, all right. Now, now it's all about neutralizing all the threats. Yeah. You know, whenever she doesn't have to worry about bingo anymore, maybe then she can go for the lines. Um, but yeah, I think for now, just making sure that she's not going to have like a sneaky bingo pulled out from under her. Like, uh, I think this is a great play. I 100% agree. 110%. Um, I'm wondering what 100, exactly. 111. Uh, maybe 111. Ah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I do wonder, though, what Pooh is thinking right now. Like, what exactly is he aiming for? Or what is he going to prioritize? Because right now, he does have a lot of different options staring him in the face. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's acquiring the Golden Braid. Maybe it's... Yeah. 
I'm not I'm not sure. At this point, Golden Braid does block three lines that uh so you know, neutralizing three threats at the same time is definitely gonna be extremely valuable to him. Four. Both diagonals. Four. Oh, sorry, three. No, three. You're right. You're three. Oh yeah. You're, you're yeah, so my, right. minus so the right. column three. You know what, Dom? You're so right, man. You're so right, man. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, you know, going for the golden braid, um, would be you know super solid here he may also be setting up for maybe going to hippo from like the the like the back side of hippo perhaps if he wanted to oh pooh be a little riskier oh these fire knights oh I oh, heal pooh knights. heal what are you doing he oh fireball yeah he didn't heal that's a shame grab the money oh, though the fireballs. unsung heroes rune um, that's going to be 50,000. That's going to be allowing you to possibly upgrade that Smith script shield a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. Uh, Parky yep, here, very, still very fighting helpful. that Jagged Peak Drake here. Let's uh, move over to Parky real quick. Watch her do this fight. Um, looks like she's doing really well here, actually. Yeah, I'm really clean fight. A lot. Sorry, go ahead. Actually. <laughs> actually. You're actually right. Actually. I'm just going to say good. it. Are you about to are you about to move me right now? I am I'm adjusting your camera oh. a little bit just because you were not really in the middle is kind of bothering me. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. You're welcome. Thank you. That's way better. That feels way better. Thank you. Uh meanwhile, Parky here is delivering the final blows to the Jagged Peak Drake. Very nice fight. Thank God she recognized not to open up that map too soon. There we go. Two dragon and hearts. There's, there's the, dragon the mark. Heart. Fantastic. Very Absolutely good. great. What a, what a delicious fight that was. Three, seven to three right now. This is looking really good for Parky. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Pooh. Uh, Pooh Poo is just. He just. Just absolutely. Doesn't care about those fireballs. He says he's too good for the fireballs. Pooh lowering the water here. I'm trying to figure out as to why. You do get an Iris of Grace. Right before okay. uh, the Skidoo Tree Avatar. You also get access to the Death Mask Helm. Um, but both of those are not really, I would say, a priority right now. So I'm yeah. really wondering why he's leaning into that. I feel like biggest priority would maybe be, like, throwing attacks. Just to block that column, too. Yeah. Not sure. It looks like he is going to be going for that grace down below here next to the tree spirit. And then maybe... Okay, yeah, I'm really I'm really curious what's going on here right now. Leveling Shadow. Skadoo. Bibbidi-boo. 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 Right you are, Dom. 101%, my friend. I feel like he, he... I think he's calling pretty much Parky's bluff here. And saying, like, oh, you're going to try and threaten me with column two with throwing attacks and frenzy NPC? All right. Just do it. Uh, and he's kind of going for what seems to be, oh, maybe row one. This might be actually a really interesting play, yeah. play here from Pooh. Going for the three different masks. And then also on top of that, going for throwing attacks only to where then all of a sudden row one being kind of a threat. Yeah, I mean, I, th this is a good square to have for him. But I feel like... You know, what are the odds that Parky sees this development and doesn't just go straight for the throwing attacks? Yeah. Yeah. On and the I other hand, it's not a bad play for Pooh to just set up one or two of the masks. Because if he if he starts developing the threat with throwing attacks, then all of a sudden he knows he can win the race to the masks after that. Does he take the elevator here? <gasps> he does take the elevator. I'm so proud of him. I am so proud. Job, He's taking the elevator here so he can actually get to the other elevator as well. Doesn't like reset back to church district, but just goes straight mm -hmm. towards the uh, the possible golden braid, you know, just as an access point. Got to be careful here not to die to that crazy guy, though. Um, okay. This is interesting. Parky going for Chief Blood Fiend here, potentially. She's currently in the okay. ravine. Very interesting. Further developing the diagonal threat. And also, obviously, just, you know, nailing squares. The only downside of this is that if and when Pooh does grab that golden braid, that diagonal is just gone, obviously. This is interesting, though. Like, why... 
Why hold on two squares like this? This might be a little bit of a misplay, I want to say, from Parky if she completes... She okay, she's just prepping it. She's not complete. Okay, interesting. Okay, maybe she is going for a Smith Shield. Oh, she's going Smith Grip Shield with Chief Blood Fiend. That would be cool. A two that for. That's pro. I think that's a great boss for it too. It's huge. It doesn't dodge. Like it doesn't have a big HP pool. That might be. Yeah, that might be her plan here. A two for. This would actually be a really, really good play. Yeah. Really, really good play. <laughs> Dom five seconds ago. This might be a misplay. Dom now perfect play. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't That's well I, it was I was I said it was a misplay. If she would have kept on going into the cavern and not left to port, it would have been a misplay, I think. Just going for Chief yeah, Blood Fiend on his sure, own. Yeah. Because like you, the column four row two is it's already blocked. The, yeah, you activate the diagonal, but why? Why would you yeah. necessarily want to do that when you already have such a prominent threat on column two? But in this case, you're doing both. And that is huge. That's fantastic. Yeah, and then like once you've spent time, like once you've invested time into developing threats, it starts to get really risky if you start to like leave those on the table for a long period of time. Yeah. There we go. Poo going sort uh, straight towards the loft. I think he's aiming for uh, for the golden braid here. Um, yeah. Which is not like we said, not necessarily the worst idea uh, to blocking three different lines for Parky, but it does, however completely ignore the very strong threat of column two. Yep. I, I think, I mean, unfortunately for Pooh, I do feel like r or row one is like one of his only shots at coming back at this point. And so as soon as one of those row one squares is claimed, he's going to be in just a really dire position. Yeah. Um, it will be interesting though. Let's say Parky gets uh boss with throwing attacks only. And Pooh right now actually has quicker access to the friends NPC than Parky does. So he is in blocking territory. He currently has That's the lock. True, yeah. He has first the grace. He has the back section. He has access to Mesmer more quickly. Uh, he has access to Iris of Grace through either the pot room or through the shadow tree room. Um, he's got access to, let's see, what else does he got? Uh, possibly, uh, parries because now he can just go straight for main gosh here and go straight for the yeah, parries. I mean, there's also, there's even like a, oh, he splats, but there's a, there's the, uh, um, snake of America here. Yeah, there's the don't stake. take it though. Don't take it. You want to go for that golden? Oh, and he takes it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Here we go. Chief blood fiend here for Parky. Now let's bring her back, back up on the big screen. We'll be doing some Smith script shielding onto the big boy. Oh, okay. This guy's moveset scares me. For I don't know why. <laughs> he, he's, he just, I don't know. He's hes spamming, man. He, he, he do be a spammer. I would agree. Uh, you see what I, look at this. How can, how can you, he's like Meta Knight in, uh, in, in, in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, totally. Look at, what do you do? Uh, honestly, strafing around him. Uh, this is definitely one of those hug the butt type of bosses i would say mm, um, right yes hug the butt indeed that stomp sucks i hate that stomp with a passion yeah yeah, yeah. that stomp is so bad oh yeah, oh this is actually like way harder than i expected oh my god chief blood fiend is not to be messed with genuinely he is kind of a menace i'm not gonna lie in my deathless dlc runs for all bosses uh this guy definitely took one death for me um, where yeah. I was like, I don't know what's happening. He's just too fast. Uh, stomp. Okay, I'm dead. I, I think he is very susceptible to, like, anything that does a lot of poise damage. But, like, look at this shield is not something. Like, he does not get staggered at all by this shield. Yeah. yeah. No, he does not care. It is oh. just a dinner plate hitting his head. Um, Pooh here Meanwhile, going for Pooh... the other mask. Actually, this is not bad. This is probably why he took the stake of America. He's like, you know what? I can just grab this other mask real quick. Why not? Not yeah. the worst idea. Now, what... Honestly, what I want to see from Pooh here is I want to see him leave this square now. And like, go for I want to see him develop. Attacks. I mean, throwing attacks at this point, obviously he does not have the benefit of the knowledge that we have. I do feel like getting the throwing attacks like would be very valuable for him. But at this point, I don't see a world where he gets it before Parky. I don't know. This guy is definitely uh, 
causing a bit of a scene here with his flailing. Yeah, honestly, look there at she this. Is oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is this guy is a menace. I wonder what her upgrade level's at. Pooh having a hard time quitting out again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Honestly, it's just amusing because it's happened to me so many times where you quit out and all of a sudden you're just changing your settings. You're like, uh, I'll lock on off. You're like, no, that's not what <laughs> yeah, I wanted. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to quit out. Oh, inverted my camera controls. <laughs> Oh, it's it's such a crappy feeling when you're dying and you're just like, I don't want to change settings right now. That's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> like, oh, automatic wall recovery is on now. Great. Thank you. Oh, wow. So Parky actually oh, going she for switched. Katana now. She's like, okay, you okay. know what? This just, this just sucks. I can't go for this combo. I'm, I'm risking possibly losing. That is totally fair. You know, you don't want to throw good time after bad in this situation. Um, oh, this would... Uh, poo this would be huge for Pooh. This would, dude, Pooh, if Pooh just yeah. switched to Dane Shield, this could be actually yep. insane. This could be yeah. genuinely beautiful of a of a counterplay. Um Yeah, I mean he could he could just go he could just beeline, you know, throwing attacks into finishing the masks, into perfumes, or you know, he could even do perfumes before finishing the masks, and I think that would be a great play as well. Yeah. Slow Parker here holding on to that uh, uh, lead here, going to eight squares now, eight versus three, grabbing Chief Blood Fiend. Doesn't progress any bingo lines besides that diagonal. However, yeah. Pooh currently does have two of those masks, so he's able to block that really quickly here if he really wants to. He's going to be grabbing Golden Braid here in just a moment. This is going to be the elevator for Gaius. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, where's he going? He's changing his mind. He saw the Blood Fiend. Why would seeing the Blood Fiend make him want... Oh, no. ...to not go for Golden Braid? I feel like what? seeing the Blood Fiend would make him want to prioritize Golden Braid even more. I don't know. Parky here currently on Great Hippo now. Golden right, Hippo. Let's see how this goes for her, because th this is one of those fights where I see players either completely dominate the fight, mm -hmm. or he just trolls the entire time. And we are seeing a little bit of trolling action here. Looks like Pooh is back in... Back going, to the, going. Uh, to the elevator again. He ported for no reason, and he screws up the... Uh, uh, he's really struggling the par struggling with the parkour here. You can just take the, uh, take the ladder. That would be fine, too. It would save you a little bit more time. I, yeah, I don't know why he poured it. I really wonder what he was thinking. I'm going to try and remember that for the interview. It was like, uh, when you saw a Chief Blood Fiend, why, why did he port? Did he assume it was masks instead? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. This very well could just be a situation where indecision is really coming into play. Okay. Parky oh, there's that spin double attack. Double damage, yeah. Hippo that spin attack is terrible. Normal. It's rough. It's I feel so like rough. Hippo is mostly okay, except for these quill attacks. They're just awful. Okay, it looks like Pooh is taking the big elevator now, going towards, I think, Jory. Potentially here? That's interesting. Or maybe going for main gosh. He is holding on to the right side here rather than the left side. So he might be going for main gosh for parries. Again, a weird square to prioritize, though. Oh, no, he is dropping down. Okay. He's, yeah. Just uh, the uh, for some reason, the... D uh, different side. I'm not sure why. Parky getting very close to dying there. Oh, that attack is that attack is mean. Let's bring her up on the break screen here as she's fighting Hippo. I say get some. Tom, have you ever considered it might be pronounced Main Josh? No. No. Okay. Never so. mind. Uh, <clears throat> meanwhile, Parky here is doing a great job against uh, <laughs> the Golden Hippopotamus. As it is known. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is known. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Golden Hippo is super, honestly, like, it's a super valuable boss. Uh, because, you know, obviously contributes towards a square in this situation. But also gives some skidoo, if I'm not mistaken. We're getting some background noise here from Parky, by the way. I can't hear it, but you guys can. Uh, Josh probably can't hear it either. Uh, we're kind of just like... No, having... sir. No, I cannot. Sadly not. Uh, I, I can't have the sound right now from the web browser. It's acting a little weird. But I'm going to give you guys some sound here so you can listen to the fight of Parky beating Golden Hippo. Um, while Pooh's making his way towards Jory. Honestly, this is... 
I think this is a good play. This is a great play. Because Pooh right now has priority on Golden Braid. Pooh has priority on Masks. So if he does get the Frenzy NPC, uh, that at least gets rid of a huge bingo line, and then he can go for gold. Oh, Parky dies! Oh, no. Mm. Okay. Hippo doing hippo things. This is getting interesting. Parky currently still on the five square lead, which is a huge lead. Um, pivoting now. Going towards more oh, wow. wounds. Okay. I, I think it's interesting that Pooh is going for this play. It's definitely not the worst play because getting that Frenzy NPC also blocks uh, the row three. But I also feel like he could do something just as valuable by going for, you know, the throwing attacks only and then maybe grabbing a Furnace Golem. You know, this is a pretty big time investment for him. It is. It is. But it is also money. And still, th I, I, I'm mind blown by the fact. Okay, Parky has the Smith Script Shield <laughs> upgraded and everything. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm like coughing. Uh, I'm so a little sick from last week. Um, but doesn't opt to go for the throwing attacks. Pooh has the Smith Script Shield. Doesn't opt for going for throwing attacks, but instead goes all the way to Jory. Now for Pooh, it makes a little bit more sense because he knows that she was in the same forge. As... Oh, Pooh is getting absolutely eaten by man flies. That's the worst. That's the worst feeling. But man, I, I would really like to see him go for throwing attacks on Dane. I feel like that could go such could, a long way here. He could block row one so quickly, and it'd be pretty powerful. Yeah. It'd be it'd be very, very powerful. But I feel like he's worried that if he, excuse me, goes for the throwing attacks only here, that he is going to be sniped on it. Like, I think he's trying to mitigate the risk of any reason of him being sniped. And, you know, the scary thing here is that, like, he, he knows, you know, every, like, minute that goes by where he's, he sees that Parky hasn't claimed it, Oh no. Man. You know, when I said the rule of killing bosses and NPCs with gravity was wrong, Pooh was just a boss. You know? He's breaking the rules left and right. <laughs> Horse parkour claims another. That's a rough one. Uh, that's a rough one. But, uh, you know, okay, he, he pivoted again. Going for the perfume bottle now. I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little, it's very interesting. Every single time Pooh dies of gravity, he changes his strategy. Yeah. It's, it's very, <laughs> I understand why, but it's also just very amusing how, like, every single time something happens, we are, we are just changing scenery. Um, yep. I mean, he's got a, he's preserving his oh, mental. Wait. Uh, Parky never actually acquired the armor set until now. That's fine. No, it's not. Right? Because it says collect two Why DLC full armor sets, and she never had the armor set. <gasps> she just killed the boss. Wait, did she mark the square? She marked the square for two armor sets, and she didn't. Yeah. She didn't collect. She didn't actually collect it. That she didn't collect two other ones, did she? She collect the Highland armor set, but she didn't technically get the Knights of the oh. Everjail armor set. She just got it. I guess it shows up like after the Yeah, it's like the It doesn't, it doesn't show up at the same time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm sure she knows. I'm sure she saw it pop into her inventory and is Yeah, that which is Which would mean that she has to forfeit that square. Yep. That is something that would uh, that would go towards that would be unlocked, and then it would be something that Pooh can acquire, and go for. Where where is this armor set square? I, I the board is a little small on my screen. Uh, it's a uh, column. Oh, there four. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank two, you. Uh, yeah. Row four. Sorry. You're right, right, right. I was like, I was like, we do have the square, right? But yeah, we do. That's devastating. Uh, yeah. So it seems like I imagine the the refs will be letting her know. Yeah, the the, the refs are going to do their job. Uh, we're unless unless we're mistaken, we'll we'll be we'll be informed if we're mistaken here as well. 
Um, the rest were mentioning, but, yeah. well, she does get the uh, the Dane armor set, and I said, it's just a hat. Um, and that does not count as an armor set. Ooh, yeah. Uh, and uh, the players definitely know that as well. Right. Um, Looks like Pooh is finally committing to the Golden Braid here. Which is, I think, a great play. Blocking that's going to be yeah. huge. So how does losing the DLC armor set square, how does that change the game? Uh, it's going to be uh, that she unmarks it, and then Pooh's going to be notified that he can grab that square. Right, yep, and there goes the square. Being unmarked for Parky. I wonder how this might... I don't... See, the thing is, like, even looking at this, I don't think this really changes the strategy for Pooh very much. Not really. It does it does lessen the pressure of Column oh, 2. Oh, you're right. He doesn't really have to worry about Column 2 nearly as much anymore. Yeah. Same with the diagonal. Yep. But, you know, Parky, you know... Still in the all lead, she has to do here four. is recognize that she's still in a very dominant position, not let it get to her, and just keep keep steamrolling the uh, the squares here. GG Poo grabbing that center square. That that's the one thing that I, I think is just you know something you just have to deal with is uh, learning uh, waiting for the drop sometimes. Like getting yeah. like getting in the you know I I completely understand like being in the heat of the moment and you just want to port you just want to go to the next square you just want to zoom and you're like yeah I'm gonna get the armor I'm gonna get the armor, but sometimes you just forget that sometimes you have to wait for those rewards. Um, and the game really it makes you wait a painful amount of time honestly. Yeah. But Parky going straight for the demi human swordsman here with that uh oh she's doing it with the discus as well. Okay, for a now, second, this is, I think this is a great boss for this. This is a great no, that's definitely a good idea. For a second though, he wasn't like taking any damage. Um, <laughs> and I was really confused, but like he can parry, which is the interesting part. Yeah. Oh, uh, once he gets up close with you like this, it gets so scary so quickly. Mister uh, Yoda here. Got a lot of scary moves, man. Yep, there's the parry. There's the double swipe. And there's the death. This seems very doable, though. We'll see if she fully commits to this. I wonder... It looks like Pooh... We have tree sentinels on this board, don't we? Or no? What is he? He's going for the giant hand. He is going for the giant hand, it seems like. Ooh, giant hand is going to be interesting. This is, unfortunately, this is a very low value square for him. He may just be grabbing the grace and porting out, but like, I feel like he really needs to develop lines or block lines. Yeah. Uh, I guess, I guess blocking row five, like that's maybe one of Parky's next biggest threats is that row five. Okay, and Parky opting back to for the great katana again, not going for the shield at this point. Gets okay. grab attacked by aunts. Yeah, I, I still do like this play from Parky because she's not investing, you know, a ton of time into it and she still gets a square out of it at the end of the day. So I definitely respect going for the synergy plays and then recognizing when, you know, she doesn't want to just invest too much time into it. And that's definitely a skill on its own, I would say, for sure, is recognizing being like, you know what, maybe I'm I'm biting off more than I can chew at this point. Maybe this is just not worth the time. I'd rather just go for that. Same with the Chief Blood Fiend thing. I think that was the right call of not trying to bulldoze and like really being hard-headed about it and be like, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing Smith Script Shield Blood Fiend until I get it. But he'd be like, you know what, this is not worth my time. I'm still going to go for the square. I don't want to risk losing it by being hard-headed. Because sometimes if you're too stubborn, you will lose a square because somebody else will do oh, it yeah. more efficiently or do not go for the whole synergy play. Um, and I think that's great that Parky is able to recognize and being like, okay, you know what, I... I, I'm just not going to do it with this. I'm going to go for a Duffer boss with that instead. Almost oh. dying to Ants here. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, my God. But now the question for Parky then is, how is she going to block this row one? It's an important right. question. She cannot win by majority until she has blocked row one. And with each of these bosses she takes out, that is one less candidate for the throwing attacks only. Yeah, that GG, good fight. There we go. Eight to four now for Parky. Still a four square lead. Who I don't know if he's googling something. <laughs> I, I maybe he's unsure of uh, <laughs> where something is. Currently, just standing at the grace. Maybe looking for where the giant hand is. It's not an easy boss to find, or not an easy enemy to find, honestly. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, he's, he's trying yeah, to find the giant Mellon. hand. Yeah, he's Makes having sense, a, yeah. a little bit. Of, it's it's in a it's, it's a little tricky to spot, but it pretty much it is uh, in a small hole with a bunch of small hands around it. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best cool. way I could describe it. Not don't go down that way. No, 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 no. Gonna... Go all the way around, please. Who is going to discover new parkour live during <laughs> a Bingus match? Okay, yeah, he just has to he has to drop one more layer down and then he can get there just fine. Yeah. He might just he might just have to pivot here. Like if he it, it'd be much better just to pivot cuz it's not even that crucial. Although maybe he sees row five and is like, maybe I could stop row. F I think he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to block every single bingo. He's like, let me, let me block, let me block row five. Let me block column two. Let me block column one at some point. Just get yeah. everything off my chest, you know. It, I think it's I think it's a fine play, but I think it's an it, you're you're less rewarded for it whenever you're this far behind. Yeah. Because you can't push for majority. So blocking the bingos doesn't actually really net you any value other than like allevi alleviating like immediate pressure. I really feel like when you're behind like this, you kind of just have to try to bulldoze a line as fast as you can. But Parky's here in church district now. <clears throat> oh, oh, misses the jump. Yeah. Oh uh, my God. That can be pretty annoying. That can be pretty annoying the for sure. <laughs> the gravity and shadow keep has claimed so many lives today. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shadow Keep for a reason. They keep your soul there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they must have cranked up the gravity here or something. Okay, uh, Pooh missing the hand again. Has to go backwards here a little bit. Hug the right, Pooh. Hug the right. Move right. To the right. To the right, to the right, to the <laughs> left, to the left. Uh, okay. Well, we're about an hour into the match here. Parky, this could go to two hours, honestly. I don't think Parky grabbed uh, or uh, had finished Hippo. She died and then left, right? So I think you're right, yeah. This is maybe Parky thinking of going for masks instead. Oh, but Pooh already has two of them. Pooh trying his best here, however, to locate this giant hand. He's looking. In a hole. It, he's pivoting. He's pivoting. Just, yeah. yeah. Just, pl please. Yeah. Please. He doesn't have time. There we go. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Yeah. Uh, he's probably looking at that row five and feeling like he has to answer that. Is he finishing hats? Hats but, would be a great play for him. Yeah, hats would now be perfect. Genuinely. And it looks like he might. And he can grab Iris of Grace on the way here in pot room. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Can't complain. Yeah, blocks off the column one as well. Definitely can't complain. Where are we at? We're at eight to four here. This this match has like taken a turn. Parky took Parky took like Parky took such a dominant lead early on and just things are happening. Things are happening left and right. I don't know if Pooh realizes just how in this he is. Grab the grace. Grab the Iris of grace. Grab the Iris of grace. Grab the Iris of grace. No, yes. Oh, he's done it. He's oh, gaming. Oh, oh, he's getting grabbed. Just yeah, there you go. There you he go. Okay. He's got it. That's huge. Okay, this is this is interesting. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, it looks like Parky actually might be going towards Jory oh, now. Towards Jory, maybe so. Unless she, yeah, yeah, turning towards the drop here. No gravity memes. Love to see it. Yeah, she might be going towards Jory now. There are two hippos on the way to Jory as well, so this actually might not mm -hmm. be a bad play from Parky. This might be a really smart play. There's also the furnace golem that's right out here as well. Yeah. Yep. 
You, is is this like one of the better furnace golems to go for? Um, actually, yeah, technically. Uh, I mean, then again, doing melee on the on the furnace golems melee only is just as fine. Uh, it's not yeah. that much slower. But if you wanted to, uh, yeah, you can just throw a pot into this one right here, and then throw a, oh my I think, God, one poo. more pot. Uh, poo, get inside, man. Okay. Oh my. Oh my risky. Oh. oh my risky. Okay. 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 Winnable. Winnable. I wonder what his shadow level is. Okay, he's got the stagger. Gets the repost here. Very huge. I got. I can't believe how close that got. This low stamina, honestly, is freaking me out. Should be another stagger. There it is. Yep. Yeah. And there's the third mask. There it is. Mark it. There Mark. we go. Very nice. Very nice. Well played. There we go. There we go. So now this is uh, Park, you know, making our way towards the two hippos, but also um, Jory, a.k.a. also the Frenzy NPC. And she, I, I'm assuming she prioritizes the hippos here. Yeah, I think so too. That would make the most sense. Cause she's she's locked out of column two. So blocking column one seems like a a more pressing matter. What is Pooh doing here now? There There are a couple of hippos around here. No, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong No, that's the wrong lake. That's the wrong lake. Yeah, you got to go down. Yeah, down the elevator. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 not down there. Wait, maybe? Actually, maybe? No, I don't I don't He's think gaming? So. That's the wrong lake. No, it's it's to the south. Yeah, it's that way. Yeah, 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 it's that way. It's right down there. Yes. Not that No, that's yeah. No. Okay. I I hope to God he's not going to the he's going to the wrong lake, isn't he? Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Warmer. Oh, Parky now went back to uh, Ancient Dragon Man Cave. She grabbed the Jory Grace, but then backed off huh. and is now going towards something. Oh, I feel like there's there's so much. It I you there's know obviously it's hard happening. to know. <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of indecision happening here. Yeah. Of like people just not sure what to commit to. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I, I, I'm honestly, I'm not sure either. I think partially it is definitely a thing of, hey, uh, armor sets just got taken away and a lot of, I think, confusion of like, okay, yeah. that changes like some strategies. This changes some things that I was prioritizing now, you know? So I think that definitely has a, a an effect for sure, uh, in this point in time. Oh, yeah, I mean, nice a lot of times, stagger. whenever you're ahead like this, you can you can just create a game plan for the rest of the game and just run it down. But losing a square that you thought was yours before totally just just you know throws you makes off. you have to rethink your entire plan. Yeah. Okay, Pooh taking his time here with this hippo while Parky makes her way towards the dragon community here. Let's bring up Pooh on the big screen real quick. Yeah. Is he going to be clearing out this hippo? Gets a shadow from this, but also then could go for a secondary hippo. Yeah, I wonder which one he would go for. There we go. GG's to, GG's, GG's to Pooh here. Yeah, that was, that was pretty clean. Did not get grabbed and eaten. Uh, Parky may be going for... Mariga? The hippo over in Charo. Charo? Is that is it that Caro? Caro? I don't churro? know. Churro? I think she's churro? going over the, to the churro area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, churro's hidden grave. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess that hippo would work, but then she would still need one more hippo after that as well. Does, I think she's, she's going straight oh, to Mariga. Oh, she never got golden hippo. Right. She died, and then I don't think That's she redid right. the fight. Okay. I what, do what, wonder what is Mariga given here? this on this board. Why 
is poo. Oh, uh, Devonia's hammer. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool synergy play. Going for the hippo and then going for Devonia right afterwards. Trying to get that he's kind of set, up. Dude, he's kind of setting up threats on column one. Yeah. Clean. Okay, nice. Clean drop. For the love of God, get the grace first. <laughs> Dude, I, I thought he was just gonna what is he doing what is he doing what what he's looking he's gonna die he's gonna die to the lie he's gonna die he's oh gonna die. no 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 get out there's the there's the bazooka golem turn right Turn did, right, bro. Oh, okay, I'm so You can do it, Pooh. Pooh, can you grab the grace first for the love of God? He may not see it. He may not have seen it. What do you Okay, you know he sees Devonia. I'm freaking the, out. No. I'm freaking out. Pooh! Man. Get the grace, I'm you psychopath! Out. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Uh, Maybe Pooh is oh. insane. Maybe Maybe Pooh's... he knows something we don't know. Nope, he does not. No. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, it looks like that Parky might be going for Mariga here with the uh, shield now. Oh, with the shield, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Okay, this this seems very doable. Yeah, this seems she's, like something he's that got would like be good. some of the lowest HP in the entire DLC, and you know it's a base game move set. <laughs> None of these crazy DLC. The only problem is like the little the little guys can can be a huge pain. Yeah, you just clear them out before you actually do the the fight. Although I do have to say, out of all of them, only like the one demi-human chief that's walking around is like the most annoying. Everything else is actually not that bad. Really yeah, not you can that kind of like one to two shot everything else. Good damage here though from uh, the oh, Smith yeah. Skip Shield discus hurling. Definitely not bad. And it looks like it's getting headshots as well. Oh, okay. So you gotta be. Oh, it gotta be a little careful here. You gotta you, you press use the range advantage, Parky. Okay. Yeah, there's the there's the demi human chief you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Pooh is doing the skip again. <sighs> this is interesting though, because like uh, for Parky, if she really would have thought about doing demi human with shield instead, she could have gone for the demi human swordsman right before Mariga, rather than doing the whole jail. Yeah, it would have been a much more synergistic play. Obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty, but did he grab the grace this time? I missed it. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, Dom. We have uh, we have just... two fights going on. He misses his uh, bubble tier here. I am not sure that he's ever fought Devonia. This this Crucible Knight does not mess around either. I, I'm pretty but sure you know what? a lot of players haven't fought Devonia, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah. I I just hope we get to see the horse prancing. Yeah, this, the centaur move is pretty insane. Yeah. It's honestly... Oh. Yeah. Did he grab the grace this time, though? It's honestly such a shame they don't let us have the Crucible Knight centaur. No, he didn't grab it. There nice we go. Smith skipped shield for Parky now. Yeah, Grabbing Parky. that square. Almost marked it a little early there. Yeah. I wonder how much nerves are coming into play right now. You know, very first match of the season. I think quite a few. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't imagine being in the situation and not being nervous. Okay, it looks like that Pooh just wants to grab a little bit more money here. And Parky here possibly going for the two hippos. She did, she did put a way marker down. So I think she's going for the double hippo here. Um, okay. Which now, Pooh is spending some cash. Doesn't have to invest any money now for that Smith Script Shield upgrade. Parky maybe getting a little lost here. Didn't take the gravestones down to the water, but instead is going all the way around. What does Pooh go for? So Pooh's only option is column one. Yeah. For, for a direct line, yeah. Yeah. You know, Parky only needs four squares to secure the victory. 
she has now blocked everything except column one. But if she gets those, uh, if she gets those two hippos, she is free to just go for the majority win. Okay, she's down at the bottom here now. Bro, I swear, if Pooh is not going for a hippo <laughs> as well, this is going to be insane. I quit out, Pooh. You can do it. He nailed it. Oh, he got it. yo, Let's people go. claps. People claps. <laughs> so wow. proud of you, Pooh. It's hard to learn the muscle memory for that. It is a little and tricky. And honestly, it's gotten so much harder with like the menu delay stuff too. You have you have even less time to pull it off now. Yeah. I think I was watching Dist trying to uh do Knight's Cap cheese with the menu delay and he just kept on dying because it was just it was delaying too <laughs> long to where he couldn't uh quit out fast enough to reset the Knight's Cap. Okay. Okay. This might be an unintended snipe here from from Puna, which is uh insane. Yeah, he's already got the one. Yeah, it's heading be towards Parky's the second first. now. Oh, but Parky here almost already kills the first one. The second one is pretty close nearby. This is a this is a huge DPS check. Absolutely, yeah. This is a huge DPS check. Let's uh let's have the players listen into Poo here real quick. Sorry, that's the player. No, the chat. Sorry. We're now piping Pooh's audio back into both of the players. <laughs> Dude, I'm just like, I have this double audio. Barky <laughs> getting that first hippo now, going for that second hippo. But Pooh already done almost with this hippo. This is a Pooh for square oh, mode. Right? Yeah. It's a, it's a Pooh for square. It is. Uh oh, one more hit, one more hit, one more one should do it. He gets oh, pancaked. Oh, he's blasted. He's just got a good kill. There it is! And he does. He gets the kill. Pooh marks he it! Marks square. Wow, what a snipe! Uh, just like that. Pooh is still in this. Very nice. Parky's gonna see that. She quits out, okay. So Parky is in it. She's still at an advantage going for the frenzy NPC if she wants to, but she's got to start looking at that column one and figuring out what to do about it. Yeah. See, now things are getting more and more interesting as that's as that uh, square gap is kind of being closed here. Now only a three square difference between Parky and Pooh. They've got 45 minutes on the clock still left. Parky going towards the same thing that Pooh is going towards. Which is the more grace. What are Adam, they... I do have a question. Uh-huh. So, we know that you cannot win by majority uh, unless you've blocked all the other lines. Mm-hmm. But if a match goes to time, you still win if you have more squares, even if you haven't blocked all the lines, right? Correct. Okay. So, you know, one possible play for Parky here is she could go for the time limit play because you know yes Pooh does have access to this column one but what are the odds that he's going to be able to get through all the way to the ceiling tree all the way to euporia in that amount of time right that's going to be a pretty difficult task yeah this is going to be <laughs> it's gonna be something. I'm seeing the two minute delay of me turning on Pooh's audio, and chat is like, it's so loud. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna crack me up a little bit. <laughs> and they just. <laughs> I love you, okay. chat. This is. So she's grabbing the Iris of Grace here, and then maybe she's going for Devonia's hammer now? Okay. And Pooh possibly going for Iris of Grace with uh, Queenline. So. Yeah, because yeah, you have the Queenline invasion here, and then you have the one oh, um, this is gonna be after so Castle Ensis. So interesting. If he gets Iris of Grace, I think Pooh would pivot back to Devonia. 
But that hopefully might be grab blocks. the grace next to Devonia. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think Parky going for Devonia. I mean, that that would be the fastest way to block this. And if Parky gets the block, she's in great shape to just go for the dub at that point. Wow, for for how this match started out, it has ended up being remarkably tense. This is such a this is honestly such a great first match of the season. Yeah, it's a very interesting match. I'm 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 not sure what the plan is right now. However, we do have Quillian currently Quillian currently on uh, Pooh's screen here. I'm gonna move back over to Pooh this time. I'm gonna make sure he's not that loud. Chat, I promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There we yeah. go. We'll, we'll get your feedback in two minutes, all right, chat? Yeah, this should be better. Yeah, it's looking good. I really like how they handled the NPC fights in the DLC. It, it feels like they made really? them roll a lot less. They they backstep more now, though, which is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, but, like I worse. just know, like... And GG to poo on that kill there. Uh, I just know, like, compared to, like, Gideon, I feel like Gideon just mashes roll. Whereas you can actually kind of combo NPCs in the DLC. Yeah, that is that is fair. That is definitely fair. Okay, yeah, we're going here for the... The Devon... Whoa, what is this? Okay, oh, she's getting the lineup. She's getting the lineup, okay. And she's got it. Very nice. Very good. And we're going to go for Devonia here. Is she going to grab the grace? Clean drop. Yes. Yes, she is. Absolutely. I don't know anymore, man. I feel like Pooh just must not have seen it. I guess so, but GGs. I feel like with every cross, there is a grace besides the one in Balorat, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It is interesting. But yeah, Pooh focusing on Iris of Grace here. I think that's a good play. That's a great, great play um, from Pooh here. Parky here are going to be going for possibly Devonia's hammer. Really curious how this is going to go for her, to be honest. Yeah, and I, I think that unfortunately some of this has come down to, you know, a little bit of a skill check and a knowledge check. Yeah. And on the fight. like we mentioned earlier, you know, who is much less experienced when it comes to uh, the DLC and Elden Ring in general, and especially Bingo. He is, you know, brand spanking new to this. Oh, he does die to Quiline, but I don't think that's too big of a time. He, he still has, he, he'll, yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I don't, I don't see a world where like he would, he would have like devoted a lot of practice to Devonia at this point. You know, he's got, he's, he's probably put a lot more practice into fights like Mesmer and Rolana and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. I, uh, I I would agree. I think he's, he definitely mentioned that like his his deficit or where he's lacking is definitely boss knowledge. He does know where a lot of things are. It's more or less just the execution of some fights is still uh, something that he's practicing. And honestly, that is something that everyone is still practicing. DLC has only been out for not even four months. Like everyone's yeah. still getting used to a lot of move sets. They're getting used to a lot of. Uh, you know, uh, chain combos that bosses have been doing. DLC being very known for c bosses comboing or even enemies comboing by a lot. Like just the, the stupid curse blades that are a normal enemy. There oh is my, one curse blade oh boss, but Lord. still, they just never stop. It's never ending. The Beyblades. But yeah, I mean, we we did see a little bit of this last season as well with uh, with Adef as it was his first season of Bingo. And it was really awesome to see how over the course of the season, he just improved so much. And uh, by the by the end of the season, he was really like a force to be reckoned with. Uh, got really fast at a lot of the, collect the collection squares because, you know, although he didn't have quite as much experience on, on the combat squares, he just, he knew where his strengths were and he really played into them. Parky, oh, sorry. I, I'm sure we're gonna see the same thing with Pooh here, but there's the Devonia kill. She got it. There it is. Nice block right. here from Parky. She does die, but man, that was actually a really, really good fight here from Parky. Yeah, really good fight was, on Devonia. Sick. GG's.
Very nice block here, 10 to 6 now. And now Parky has the luxury of just picking her three favorite squares and running them down if she wants to. Yeah, this is going to be the interesting part now for Pooh, realizing that every single bingo line is blocked now. So you're moving into a majority race with 38 mm -hmm. minutes left. So this is going to be a thing of, okay, which ones are she going to, is she going to go for? What do I have priority on? And to try and work with that. She cannot mark DLC full armor sets anymore since she did do that miss mark. So that is one thing that Pooh definitely can hold on to. Oh! I, you know, with that, with that, you were talking about all the mods and stuff that we're using mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. I feel like there must be some gravity shenanigans going on in Shadow Keep, but you know, this is not normal gravity. Let me tell you, it's uh, it's it's mega gravity. It's it's mega giga one hundred and one percent gravity. It's uh, you know, I, I I think I think definitely a lot of it is though is just nerves. It really is. Uh, I would I would assume so. Anyways, I would be I'd be just as um i don't want to say reckless necessarily but more or less while you're doing a lot of bingo matches there's a lot going on in your head and so sometimes you just don't really pay attention to your pathing because you've done it hundreds of times so sometimes you just don't pay attention like oh yeah i'm thinking about this i'm thinking about these squares i'm thinking about blocking that and the next thing you know you're dying to gravity like that <gasps> oh boo i mean okay i'll be honest with you Whenever I get nervous, I do feel like my hands stop working. I, I, like, they just they just don't go in the direction I want them to sometimes. Mm. And uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, to be honest, this match has been absolutely nerve wracking from frame one. You know, out the gate, Pooh was having technical issues with his stream. And then there were snipes like <laughs> pretty much immediately this this match has been a, a basically a test of mental fortitude on both sides i would say yeah 100 percent. and uh, th now with Pooh dying to gravity twice now has parky committing to the same square he is like an <gasps> unintended time sink he he was stalling for strats guys <laughs> they were intentional gravity deaths okay. he's so real for that Okay, he's got it this time. There we go. All, All right. right. Pooh has survived the church gravity. And now all, right. all he has to do is finish this conversation with Quiline. And then we're, yeah, we're good to go once he's got that. Qui this, is the, this is like one of the only NPCs where you can't punch them in the head, by the way, from having them to stop talking. <laughs> it is so frustrating. Oh, you have to like, just sit there and listen. The one place in Elden Ring where we can't solve our problems with violence. Yeah. This is so sad. And as soon as he regains control of his character here, he can mark the square. There it is. Marking Iris of Grace. And Parky can't quit out because it's an NPC invasion. So she just dies right away. <laughs> yeah. To yep. the great sword here. Uh, the heavy thrusting sword. Sorry. Um, this is going to be interesting because now Pooh is trying to find the giant hand one more time in the hinterlands here. Uh, and we'll see if he can spot it before Parky finds it because right now, row five is still a bingo opportunity. It is, yeah. The question is, is she going to go for it or... Because, you know, she could also simply just go for like, okay, I'm just going to kill a furnace golem. I'm just going to... You know, kill the frenzy NPC, and I'm gonna get the perfume bottle only. Oh, she is going for furnace golem here. Very nice here. Yeah, this is. A, I think this is a good pickup. This is something that Absolutely. most likely isn't contested. I do wonder if she's com comfortable with the the melee. Okay, oh. uh, this furnace golem just keeps swiping. I've never n seen that before. That I know that's not, that's a pretty rare opener. I feel like typically he just kind of stomps a lot. Yeah. He's still doing it, too. Look at that. Yeah, he just did it again. All right. I think he's good. I think, I think he got, I out, did of, see... got out of the system there. I Honestly, I think Parky's got this. Um, she was recently, you know, being coached on... I, I saw her working on this square specifically. So she has the experience. She has the practice. 
I'm sure she's got it. It's it's just, honestly it's just a matter of like, all right, don't let the nerves get to you. It's just execution and and patience. You know, listen into Parky here real quick as she's fighting the furnace golem. Who uh, here gonna try and find the hand one more time? And he missed it. It's gonna be behind him at this point. Okay. Nope. Uh, if, nope. Oh, more, nope. Oh, oh, oh uh, boy. Mm, hmm. Like, I know that my uh, map was wrong, but I'm not sure what exactly Pooh's marking here. Because uh, it's definitely not in this region. It's a little farther down. Yeah. He, there we go. He, okay. He, he's he's, he's moving towards hole. it. He's moving towards okay. it. Okay. Uh, I, th I think he missed it, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, once oh, you get into the poison cloud. Here it is. Area. He found it. There we go. Who found the hole? Let's he go, He finally Pooh. found it. There we go. Holage First... achieved. He is getting absolutely blasted by the tiny ant. <laughs> Park here, staggering the furnace golem. First stagger gets the repost as well. Going to have to go for one more stagger. Pooh hopefully has at least some experience with the giant hand here because this guy can be a little bit of a menace for sure. Gets the nice first roll there. Very, very. Let's turn it, turn it to po, uh, the po, oh, po. Tune into Pooh uh, here uh, real quick. Poo? This hand has some terrible hitboxes. They're very interesting. I agree. Very, very interesting. Who? I mean, doing really good, though. Yeah. Is you know, to kind of stay behind him. Yeah, you stay by the wrist. Yeah. The wrist is definitely where it's at. He gets a stagger here. Oh, it's nice. Stagger. Into a bleed proc. Oh, he's got to be dead. Oh. Careful, 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 careful. No. Oh, no. Having a little issue with the camera there as he gets oh. backed up against the wall. What a shame. Yeah. What a but shame. Now he knows where to go. He can run it back. Yeah, Parky here just needing one more stagger for this furnace golem. This should be... Oh, one more after that. Sorry, I uh, misspoke. One, yeah, one more. One more. One more. <laughs> here at Bingo Brawlers, we know how to count to three. We sure do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally, we can count to three. It Looking happens. Pretty good, though, here for Parky. She is going to be clearing this Furnace Golem in just a moment. Gets that triple stomp. Oh, does get oh. tagged by that last move. It's fine. She's drinking. It's so Gets weird. the jump off. That good. Jumping like that just works. It's very simple. Yeah. It doesn't look like it would work, but... Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the the double. You have right, to go away because of the explosion. We only have better luck more this minutes. Time. Gets the frost proc of the giant hand. Parky waiting for one more hit here. Parky doing a great job of playing this nice and patiently. Nice dodges here from Pooh as well. There it is. Parky getting the final stagger on the Furnace Golem. I'm going to go for the repost here and mark that square. Kill a Furnace Golem. That's going to be her 11th square on the board. Pooh here. Half health on the giant hand. Going for a jumping attack. Oh. Very greedy. But gets the heal here. FGG's mm. to Parky marking the square. Uh. That attack. That attack right there. The crawl. It's so bad. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Dom, this is a brutal square. How could you do this? Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's so messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good oh, dodge. there we go. He got it. Did he get a proc at the end there? Is that what happened? Poo eight. Hell yeah. 11 to eight GG. now. Okay, Still okay. Maintaining the three square gap here. Now, this is full-on majority. Although, Pooh still has to collect another full armor set. But, uh, Parky can't get that anymore. So, that yeah. bingo line is not available. She's going for main gosh here from the looks of it. Going to go towards the small room that has that dagger. And then going to go for six parries. The question is, who? Rolana? Most likely. Rolana is like, it's so it, it's, it's such a double-edged sword. Because she's such a like high skill fight, but at the same time, you can parry pretty much every one of her attacks. And so it's easy, like it's it's quick to get the six parries as long as you don't mess up. 
It is shocking that she has a full-on ballista in her head. <laughs> she is <laughs> and just, just taking that like a champ. Walking through Shadow Keep. And, you Got know, it. tarnished. Their brain is not in their head. All right, their head is just, uh, you know, they're they're not using it. The grace is the brain. That's right. <gasps> okay. Right, you are. Go. <gasps> Go. Now, Pooh right. is in a situation where he is now tasked with identifying what he thinks Parky's going for next and getting it before she does. And he's going to be upgrading perfume bottles here. Going to be going for a boss with perfume bottles as possibly his next square. Not necessarily a bad decision. But Parky here going to go and for Rolana Perry's. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. I almost feel like it's, it would be in Parky's best interest to go for like the slower, maybe even like higher skill plays here. Because I think those are ones that are going to be more difficult for Pooh. And also, like, you know, she she will have more experience and a little bit of an advantage on that. And uh, as a result, she can feel a little safer going for those. She only needs two squares to win at this point. Yeah. And honestly, uh, I mean, if, if she was comfortable with it, she could go for Mesmer Parries here instead. Because then she could work towards burning the ceiling tree at the same time. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I'm not going to lie. Mesmer Parries are kind of rough. They are, they are, yeah. They, you can only parry a couple of different attacks, and some of them have very weird, like, parry boxes as well. Mm -hmm. Pooh here going back to the sunken chapel. Not sure why there isn't a boss here. There is nothing here. Hmm... Unless he's going to be using the Perfume Bottle versus Shadow Tree Avatar? I was thinking maybe the Sunflower, yeah. So, yeah, that, okay, that's definitely what he's getting. Yeah, he's going for that now. Okay. Makes sense. Which, like, Sunflower, I don't know. It feels like you're doing a ton of damage as you're doing it, because, you, frankly, you are. But at the same time, it has the three health bars, and so it's not actually, like, to me, I don't think it's the fastest one to go for. Okay, it looks like Parky pivoted, by the way. Grabbed the grace for Rolana, but is now going towards possibly Jory instead. And uh, what is even more interesting is that here's the thing with the perfume bottle. It says boss. It doesn't have to be a remembrance boss. Right, so yeah. he could just kill just Dane. Dane. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I that That's why I do think... Um, I do think the... The avatar in this situation is a little bit of bait because, you know, you see, oh, I've got fire damage. I know avatar is super weak to fire damage, but it still has three Phases. health bars. Yeah. And it also has moves that just stall. You can't just spam the fire the entire time. Right. Uh, hey, who knows? Maybe he's comfortable with this and maybe this is like the best play for him. If so, more, po more power to him, you know? He also gets a lot of money out of it. He does. He definitely does. Second Iris of Grace here for Pooh now. Yeah, please. Thank you. Also, 80,000 right there, <laughs> Pooh. If you wanted to grab that, you're more than welcome to. Um, Parky here going for Jory now. I'll be honest, I normally uh, memorize this catacomb quite well, but I have no idea where she's going right now. It's honestly, like, it's so it's so dark. Okay, she's took, like, like, a completely different pathway. Oh, she didn't take the shortcut. I see. Okay. There's oh, yeah, there's, drop like, the down little... you can just do. Yeah. On the ledge. All right, let's go ahead and move to uh, um, Pooh here real quick. We're listening to Pooh as well. As he's fighting the Sunflower. Bro, I hated this fight. The first time I did my, <laughs> my playthrough. It was so bad. I, I liked was it. so angry. The vibes are good. I like the vibes. Honestly, for me, like whether I like or dislike a boss is almost purely dependent on vibes. Yeah. That's my toxic trait. Okay, if Pooh two-handed here, he would be dealing a little bit more damage. But still doing quite well, actually. Almost gets the dodge oh. here. Gets the unfortunate halfway point yeah. kind of 
attack, which is really annoying to deal with. This is kind of what I was talking about. It just has moves that just waste time. Yeah. You got the explosions later on. Nice you dodge. You have the charges though. as well. That's the first phase here for Pooh now. GG, clean fight from Pooh. He did it. Great fight, well great done. fight. I mean, if I was, if I had faith in myself right now. Yeah, here's the interesting thing. With Perfume Bottle only, you tree. cannot repost. Yeah, you want to you hit him with that's it? Just, and it's just obligatory. Yeah. It's just, you have to say no way when phase two shows up. No way! That's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> now looking really good, it. though. Uh, getting his hits in on the face. That is the weak spot of this boss. Is those many glowing eyeballs. Yeah. And as, as we're looking at this, it, it it's so clear that, like, Dane, I think, would have just been so much faster. Yeah. No, Dane definitely would have been faster for sure. But um, maybe for some reason he just thought that this was not necessarily more efficient, but just this... Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe less of a headache. I'm not sure. I'm really not too sure. Maybe no. just more comfortability kind of thing. Parker here now also on Jory. Let's see if she gets the backstab loop off here. Let's go ahead. And, oh, uh, see that? That's the one where it's really tough to get the backstab on. What well, really is a shame when you try to go for the backstab loop on Jory is when you start pushing him towards a wall. And then you're yep, like, just ah, like this. Here we yeah. go. How am I supposed to backstab? And honestly, like, you know, phase one of this fight, genuinely not bad. Like, kind of fun. No. Yeah, the phase one's pretty good. I would I would agree. I would agree. Yeah, just she just there's she just can't get the backstab. That is so troll. My god. Who's gotta be really careful here? He's oh, who on low health. HP? Oh, the thorns. Okay. Oh, he's not healing. He's being a little greedy. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Getting clipped. Pooh, for the love of God, heal. Does he not <laughs> Please, see? Please, Pooh. Dang no. It. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Almost got into phase three there. <laughs> Excuse me, phase three there. Let's tune in to Parky in here. Phase two. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage taken. Come on, Parky. Starting to deal with the summons and the teleports. This is... You know Aggie thinks this is a good boss? Yeah, I don't understand why. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Great question. I don't know. I'm, I'm putting him on blast right now. And great fight. Great fight from Parky here. Getting really close to that NPC. I heard Rolana is really easy to parry. I really hope she is. I don't think I've ever parried her, but I've parried Midra. When I was practicing this, I did it against Midra. Question is, what is she planning on going for after that? It's gotta be parries, right? Uh, I would assume so, but at this point, I don't know, she pretty much has any options available. <laughs> oh, just kicking the flower I would go now. to Mitra, but it's just such a long run. That. If I can do Rolana, I should do Rolana. There we go. There's phase two. That's still fine for perfume only, right? <laughs> I just it doesn't hope do he's any like damage because he was, already, yeah, he was already on zero HP. So I think it's fine. <laughs> Normally, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> he's playing with fire. Hopefully, Rolan is easy. Oh. And if I had the armor set square, this would be over now. Madding hand going to be showing up here for Parky in just a moment. Yeah, Parky's right there. This guy isn't too bad, right? Oh, uh, he's not too crazy. He does have a pretty high frenzy proc, though. Oh, thank you. Wow, her damage is so good. Yeah, there's...
That is exactly, yep, what, I'm exactly oh what I'm talking what about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. What is that? What is that, man? That is uh, that is maddening hand. Who decided that was okay? That was there disgusting. It is, though. There it is. Frenzy NPC done for Parky here. She sadly cannot get full armor sets anymore as she mismarked that earlier. But she only needs one more square anyways. 12 to 8 right now for Parky. 16, sorry, 18 minutes left in the match here. Uh, going for Perry Renala. Yep. Rolana. Straight to Castle Ensis. I I'm glad that she's not trying to go for this perfume bottle because, it, it, you know, it's a relatively fast square to go for. She doesn't have too many low HP bosses left over, though. She would have to do something like the, the Curse Blade guy, the Beyblade guy. Yeah. But let's see her execute these parries here. Oh, a little early on that one. Nice. Okay, that's two already, right? Yeah, that's two. And Pooh has taken down the Skidoo Tree Avatar. GG's Pooh. Very nice. Look at very, that. Very nice. Oh, what? No, ain't way. no way. Phase oh, three here for Pooh. He's back. Just what? absolutely tanks the hell out of this. That's crazy. Oh, God, Pooh, please. Pooh, for the love of God, heal. <laughs> Pooh, Pooh, we need you to heal, man. Pooh, we're going to need to see a heal, buddy. We're going to need to see some flasks come out. Thank you. Who not Appreciate healing it. is like CBD not leveling health last season. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's always someone who's just uh, bound to not. Oh no, he gets blasted. That is a that is a that's a oof done a half. That's devastating, man. That's devastating. Parker here currently on Rolana. Okay, it looks like Pooh now is going to be pivoting. Yeah, I mean. We gotta, we gotta see him go for Dry Leaf Dane. All these combos. Let's see. Oh, she is not getting good RNG here on the attacks. How many more parries does she need? Two more? Oh, too early. Oh. This is tense. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's two more or one more. She's got some decent Rolanda practice, though. Nice dodges here. Pooh now going for... It looks like to be oh, possibly armor sets. Going to be grabbing his free square. Yeah... Honestly, not a bad idea. Just get that out of the way. He has to claim it at some point, right? Yeah. Okay, one okay, more parry should one do more. it. Yeah, with the match timer coming There we closed, go. Six parries for it. Parky. Here we go. Very six. nice. Well, that repose six, damage looks six. pretty low, actually. Yeah, so she's was... weak to pierce. She's uh, pretty good versus slash, to my understanding. I see. Let's bring her on to the big screen as she's currently fighting Rolana now. She's trying to finish out the six parries. And if Parky gets the square, that will be the victory yeah, honestly, secured. I, didn't think I could do that, but I said I could, so I'm stupid. Pooh did not just die to gravity. I don't care what you guys are seeing on the bottom screen. <laughs> didn't happen. Gravity is not his friend today, man. By the way, for anybody that is currently watching that is not subscribed to the channel or does not have Twitch Turbo, ads are starting in three minutes. If you'd like to not miss out on any of the action that's happening in this match or the next match, Aggie versus Chris, oh be sure God. to subscribe or get Twitch Turbo or something to make sure you don't miss out on anything. Um, with that, you're obviously supporting the channel, but also supporting Bingo Brawlers and being able to do this for more and more seasons. Oh. She is going to die! No! Bummer. That is unfortunate. She has to go back again and do those six parries on Rolana. That is very unfortunate.
the pressure is on here. Now, if Parky does happen to just wait out the timer, if she does secure the victory, but I'm sure she wants to secure this final square. Yeah, I, th I think so too. I think so too. And yeah, Pooh Poo is going for that uh, armor set over by the start of the DLC on the cliff. What is this set called? Uh, the Oathseeker. Oathseeker, okay. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool name. I especially like this if he doesn't feel confident going back to the the Jail Knight. Yeah. What do they change that knight's name to? I don't. I can't. I can never knight remember. Of the Solitary Jail is now. What yeah. It is. Okay. Right. Is this Pooh's first armor set then? Um. If he didn't kill the Knight of the Solitary Jail, I hope he checks before he marks. For the love of God. Okay. I don't. Okay. Yeah. I think he's going. Looks to... like now he's going back for it. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> And Parky dies to Rolana here. Swip, swipe. These parries are, are rough, dude. This is a rough one. This is a rough one. This is, uh, we have 10, almost 10 minutes left. Can Pooh get four squares in like 11 minutes? And Parky stays at the 12th. Oh, what? dude, look at this synergy. Pooh is going in with perfume in hand. Killing a boss perfume Okay, only, I like that. I like with that. With the two DLC armor sets. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. That's a really good idea, actually. The scary thing, though... Is, oh, no, he's not. Never mind. Okay. I was going to say the scary Aww. thing is that the perfumes don't stagger him at all. Which... Against an NPC, you really want to be staggering them the whole time. Yeah, that's a shame that he decided against it. Not going to lie. Definitely a shame. But it's bound to happen. That, yeah, uh, I think this is the it. smarter play, but it's also the less cool play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Less cool, but more consistent is honestly the best way to bingo, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Doing cool that's stuff true. is fun, but man, you're not going to win as much. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Unless you're doing like the, you know, the cool skips that have been discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those That's are cool. Fair. That's fair. But they're also consistent, I guess, so. Oh, okay. Pooh's getting greedy. Okay. Okay, he did press the heal button. He found it this time. Let's go. GG's. Something interesting to note about this jail night is that the R1s on the katana will only interrupt his attacks if he is one-handing. So it is much more dangerous to yep. go for attacks on him if he's two-handing his weapon. Yeah, I don't know just poise through it. why that's a mechanic of having an NPC <laughs> I don't know. have their poise increase. I, I don't know exactly yep. what See, the value like is, but it's like it's like someone I think someone said it's a, a, a one and a half times increase on poise when he two hands. That's so weird. It's, it's so dumb. bizarre. It's so dumb. Makes no sense. Oh, I hate this attack from Rolana. There oh, it is. Oh, yep. Yep. That combo is horrible. Yeah, that is a rough one and a half. Phase two Rolana is an absolute menace. There it is. So night. there it is, though. Knight of the Solitary Jail dead now for Pooh. Gets to mark DLC armor sets. Claiming another square. There before... we... And he waits for it. Oh, Let's Pooh. go. Love he him. did it. Yes. Love him. Waited for the armor set there to pop up. My goat. All right. Fantastic. And now Pooh he's going back, back to church district. <laughs> going back for the perfume only, which honestly, you know what? Touche at this point. I respect it. Yeah. You just want to like get that fun uh, fight done and over with. Oz, okay. If we're ending, hypothetically, if we're ending here at 13 to 9, fantastic first, first match from Pooh. Oh, yeah, what a match. For for someone who is probably the newest member for uh, Bingo Brawlers and player, um, very good showcase. A very good yeah, showcase. Yeah, I mean, taking a match to almost two hours, that's insanely impressive. Yeah, that's very, very well done for sure. I'm not sure if he's aware that he can two-hand the perfume bottles for more attacks. 
Because you do like the the double swipe down, double swipe up. Thing yeah, instead. I don't know. Because that would, I think, decently increase his damage. I mean, that, that's the nice thing about these matches is like, you know, yes, there's like stakes on the line, and and yes, they're super intense the whole time. But also, it it really highlights your blind spots, which I think like, you know, this is a great opportunity for him to learn a ton for his next matches as well. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And also you get like the, the first match nerves out of the way, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I like my preference is like, if I'm going to lose at some point during the season, I prefer to lose early because then for the rest of the season, I don't have the nerves of like, Oh, I need to not lose. Right. You know, I can just kind right. of like, all right, I got the loss out of the way. I can, I can chill out a little bit. And I play so much better when I'm chilled out. I'm sure a lot of people do. Oh, a hundred percent. So uh, this attack here, by the way, rolling doesn't do anything. You want to jump on the third one because then the bottom wave will go underneath your feet and the uh, upper wave will go above your head. Oh, I see. Okay. Can you still dodge it point blank at melee or did they add yes. a hitbox for her sword? No, no you can still do it. Wow, that. okay. That's crazy. That can't be intentional. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. But yeah, if, you, if she starts doing the blue transitional attack instead, you can be in melee range and she just doesn't hit you. It is a really cool way to dodge it. I actually like it a lot, but it does look super unintended. Yeah, it definitely is, I think, uh, something where it's uh, hard to read, though, too. Because, you know, like, if you're too close, she does the fire, most likely. Yeah. There is the it's, combo oh. again. That combo yep. is just it's just going to get you. It's brutal. That's a mean, it's mean brutal. combo. This boss, man. And this is a boss, like, I've seen Parky do this, like, so many times. It's just, like, I think in the match setting, it is so hard. All righty. Is this phase two? This is phase two, right? It's one of them. I'm pretty sure this is phase two. Yeah, it's he's definitely tankier. Yeah, and we also haven't seen the big explosions yet, so it's not phase three. All right. Okay. Okay, that's the time to heal. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like we're both just, uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here we go. The two fights going crazy. Yeah, now and now I think like at some point you just get frustrated. I think that's where Park is right now. If you're trying to parry a boss and you just have to wait for attacks and you just get punished yeah. for waiting is infuriating for sure. Pooh there knocking out phase two Shadow Tree Avatar, Skidoo Tree, Skidooski. Right um, you are, Dom. Absolutely. Phase three. Does Pooh dodge the explosion this time? He saved his physic. Which is, I think is a fantastic idea. Very smart. Yeah. So I did recently nice! see... That was a good dodge. Great dodge. I did recently see on CBD's stream, he did this interesting scripted dodge for the triple explosion. Where he like... Jump? Like the, the, the explosion starts and then he jumps and then yeah. just mashes roll. Yeah. After that. Yeah. I think that was is that, found... Is that one that a lot of people do? Yeah, that like was that? found by a, a French streamer through the Disbounty. Uh, oh, chemist. wow. Okay. Chemist, uh, I believe, was oh, the first yeah, I know. to do yeah, it. Yeah, chemist is, chemist is very cool. Yeah, he's, I think he was the first to do it. Well, like, where he would he would jump and, during the explosion animation. People were like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, yeah, it counts out oh. the uh, the explosion. Oh. oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad news. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah, he almost had it. but He almost had yeah. it. I want to see him go test the damage on Dryleaf Dane <laughs> and be like, oh, I should have been doing this. Yeah. Yeah, it says boss, not remembrance. I I, I wonder if he just, like, for some reason just assumed yeah. it was remembrance. Because I'm not going to lie, I've done that before, too. I'm like, oh, my God, I have to do this for a remembrance boss? He's like, oh, no, no, I just have to do it for any boss. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that might just be it's an important distinction. Read. Oh, yeah, 100%. It makes some squares way easier. Yeah, not to mention, like, all the mini-bosses tend to have pretty small HP pools compared to the Remembrances.
But yeah, Parky's an interesting situation here because, like, you know, she's uncontested, but she's also racing against the clock right now. Yeah, pretty much. Which puts a lot of pressure on. Oh, I think I think he's two handing the uh, the perfume bottles now. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Pooh. You see, the damage was difference was so insane. Today. I'm not gonna lie. They almost like doubled in damage. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. Parker here, I think good to go now. Got her six parries on Rolana. She has three minutes to complete this square to go for 13. Gonna tune in here to Parky. This is the moment. It's time to lock in. Goes for the She's nice. Not gonna have... Ooh. Very nice stagger. Okay. Oh, the rolls. Yeah, the rolls just don't work. They just don't work. Gets the bleed proc here, though, on Rolana. Half down Good phase two up. for Pooh now, too. Parky's just got to avoid getting hit by the blender combo. I'm terrified of that here one. Here we go. Twin moons. The twin moons. You can move up here, by the way, and do a jumping R2 as a finisher punish. Oh, true, yeah. Because there's there's no hitbox on... The moons, believe it or not, guys, the moons uh, don't have a hitbox. Yeah. Just the wave on the ground. Yeah, all three attacks. That was a attacks. crazy jump attack. Oh, yeah. my God. Stagger. Poo here, almost done with phase two. Shadow Tree Avatar. Has yeah, 60 great work. seconds almost left. Oh, my God. Parky might oh be getting God. the square here. I think she's got it. Yeah, that was it. With there the it is. The end there, yeah. 13 That's squares GG's. for Parky and GG's to Parky getting the first Woo! dub of the season. season there four. she is celebrating. Well done, ah, Parky, and well I done, Pooh, as well. Great first match. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. GG's, man. There it is. An hour and 58 and 55 seconds. Yep. And we have our first match of the season completed here between Pooh and Parky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let them currently rest and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move into post commentary here in just a bit. All right. Uh, dude, that was an interesting back and forth, though, for sure. Interesting <laughs> choices, too. Match. Interesting uh, choices, was, interesting was, uh, back and forth. 110%. It was such a good match. I, I think, like, there was a lot of nerves at play, it seemed like. I, I'm very interested to see, you know, what they have to say about it, for sure. Yeah, I'm assuming Parky should be ready here for an interview in just a moment. But it looks like it's going pretty damn well. And chat, I'm going to try to figure out how to get this the, the, the screen I'm watching onto my monitor in front of me. That way I'm not staring at the ceiling the whole time, okay? I've seen your comments about me looking <laughs> at the ceiling. You're making me so insecure, guys. Yeah, you're good. No worries. No worries. All right, Parky is ready. I'm going to go into the post interview here real quick and uh, bring in Parky. Let's go. Yep. Welcome in, Parkster. GG. Hello. Park Thank and you. Harbor the Goat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How's it feel to have the first victory of season four Bingo Bros? Oh, my God. It feels good, but also I'm like freaking out. <laughs> I still issued so much at the end. <laughs> That was insane. <laughs> there was a lot that was happening for sure. Um, uh -huh. But can you kind of like walk us through your game plan and uh, how sure. you're feeling about things? Oh my God. I'm like so annoyed. I feel like to, to start. <laughs> so like I gave him Marvel tier so that I could set up my Dane, my status effects into NPC bosses, into Loger, blah, 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 whatever. Um and so I gave him that, and he got Ancient Dragon Man, as you guys saw, like, right before me, and whatever, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, what was I doing next? I, I was just, like, getting things that I thought were easy so that I could snipe them from him. Um, and I went to get Teilu and the shield 
and I'm glad he didn't get that because I was worried he'd be getting that. Mm -hmm. It was very um, close, honestly. Was it? He was working on it? He was working yeah. on it, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, good. I was going to get a grace that was out of the way, so good thing I didn't. Um, but then he got golden braid, so I was like, okay, he's not near me. So what I'm going to do, and an issue that I have a lot during my games is that I immediately... And you and this kid, this will be brought up later. But whenever I am the attacker, I'm like, I'm just gonna go block this random line just for no reason instead of just like focusing on my own mm. thing. As you guys saw with the hippo, I was literally going to <laughs> hippo and then I pivoted to block um, the throwing attack line. And then he sniped hippo for me. So I don't know in retrospect, I don't know if, if row one would have been scary for me. I'm not sure. Um, so like maybe it, it's good that it I looked did scary that. for a while. Yeah. I, and like I would have done perfume bottle or something like it wasn't really the end of the world, but like I knew he had way priority on ceiling tree. Um, so, I mean, at least it looked like he had way priority on ceiling tree. So I was like, OK, obviously I have to get one of those two. So I was like, OK, whatever happens, I need to I'm just going to block row one because I'm scared of the rest. Um, and then, then he marked Hippo, and I was like, oh my god, he obviously has priority on Iris of Grace, just because I feel like he would. And the rest of them, I literally have never beaten Devonia, and I was practicing her last night, and I <laughs> literally could not beat her. I could not beat her last night, and I've never beaten her in my life, and I was like, I really hope Devonia is not going to be on the board. <laughs> and then you first tried it. And I, okay, but I was playing very, very safe. I was, like, terrified. That's good, though. Was he, was he working on that at all? He died to her twice, and then just pivoted oh. to something else, so. Damn, would he have had it first try? Uh, like if he, if, would he? Have oh, he went. He me? went there way earlier than you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, way Damn. earlier. Yeah, for sure. What, like, were you like working on it, or did he just do that earlier at a different time? Just randomly. It was at a different time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, if he did that earlier, I probably would have pivoted to hippo sooner. But like, okay, true. And then, and then at that point, I was like, okay, well, I need him to not tie me because I had to unmark the armor set, and I'm, I literally am so pissed. I would have won with that line if I didn't have that. Like. My fault, whatever, but I... Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we saw the armor set spawn in your inventory as he ported it back, and we were like, oh, no, dude. Same, same. I was so like... So sad. It was sad. Ugh, what a bummer. And then um, and then I was just trying to get things off, and I think that my Frenzy NPC play... I, I, my, I Initially, I was going to do Frenzy NPC into Midra, because Midra is the only boss that I know how to parry, but Midra, like, especially without the horse, it's such a slow walk there. And I was like, okay, I don't know. I, I was kind of 50 50 ing on everything at the end here. Like, I was just like, I need to get squares so he doesn't tie me or whatever. He doesn't win. Yeah. Um, and then I went Furnace Golem because whatever, it was a nice square. And then, yeah. And then I was just hoping that he doesn't know how to parry bosses or something. And I didn't deserve to get Rolana there, but I did, I guess. <laughs> and there we go. In my defense, I actually like never ever have done parrying on her, but I've just heard that it's really easy. So I was like, how bad can it really be? <laughs> and it was like, it, was it can fine. be a little tough. It can be a little tough. But yeah, you, tough, you, you, yeah. you pulled through. You pulled through. That's all that really matters, right? Yeah. Yeah. By I the mean, end, like, I got some practice in it. So yeah. Yeah. Like, if I, for the first, like, half of the match, you were playing, like, just insanely clean and, like, making really good decisions, like, really good synergy really? plays. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, obviously there were, like, a couple of things here. Like, towards the end, it got really tense, actually. But yeah, I mean, overall, like, insanely clean. Let me go so ahead and bring in Pooh here real quick as well, okay. uh, as he's ready to get interviewed. Pooh, welcome on in, man. Hello, GGs, GGs, dude. Yo, Pooh. Yo, first of all, um, GGs, Parky. Thank that you. Was amazing. Well played. You played very I, well. I, you know what? I, my plan, literally, I saw this board, and my plan was like, I literally was like, all right, I'm going to cruise around, go to Morth, or I'm going to get the Laval Tears, because I, I kind of figured Aggie has been so Laval Tearing. Yes. Um, and yes. I think you reverse. I think you reverse Uno to me on that. Um, and then I was so going to go. So you I was going to get it? Is that what you're saying? No, I thought you were going to get it. Uh, and then I think you reverse Uno to me by not getting it, right? Yeah. And then you popped up Dane and the status effects, which mm -hmm. was a great, great play, great play right away. Thank you. And then my thought, literally, what I thought in my brain was I'm gonna go get Tay Luash, I'm gonna go to Ancient Dragon Man, and then I'm gonna go kill Demi Human with the shield. And Damn. for some reason, for some reason, I didn't do any of those things. And then I went and got Virgis Discus before I even started to go back yes. to Tay Lu. 
And then it was, and then you had me like, like at that point I was, I felt done, you know, I felt done yeah, already. Yeah, it so. sucks in that position. It's really hard to come back, like mentally. But, so then, then I thought to myself, I was like, all right, I'm going to go drain the water, start, you know, stacking mass, get the braid, <laughs> do some stuff. And then I spent maybe 20 minutes looking for fingers, finger, looking for the giant fingers. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, <laughs> if you haven't done that before, yeah, I also got lost the first time. Yo, I did it three times before oh, I went on stream this morning, and I did it like 10, I've done it a million times. I knew where oh, it really? was, and I was like, where is this fucking hole? Sorry, fudging hole. I don't know if you can curse on <laughs> I, I'm sure chat enjoyed me. I, I think the hole was on my screen like three times. Like, it I legitimately think the hole was there. It was definitely there a couple of times, and I was like, yeah, hey, just turn around, just turn around, it's right there. And you just kept on going in a different direction. But it, it's it's a little tricky if you're not, like, 100% sure as, as to where it is. Yeah. It's so easy to get lost. It um, is really yeah. Yeah. So, I was 100% sure before I went over there, and then I was <laughs> like, why am I can't find this? So um, when it comes to, like, game plans yeah. here, by the way, uh, Pooh. Uh, whenever there was a gravity incident that did happen, you pivoted very quickly. Um, what made you, I guess, decide to pivot right away? Were you just like worried that maybe that you're already being sniped on that square? You're just like, okay, let me just go for no. this then if I'm going to lose momentum or what was No, that? and, and actually, and I made a mistake there. So I, I kept, I, I, this is another, I did have like, I don't know, probably like 12 gravity incidences, which were not great. But I, at one point, I fell. I was going to Gaius, fell to Mesmer, and I was like, all right, I have the stake right there, so I might as well grab this mask because I'm right there. But then I made the mistake of not grabbing the grace because that would have been that would have oh, yeah. been so useful yes, yeah. to come back for the burning tree and euphoria. And hindsight, at the end, that would have put me in a position where I maybe could have, like, played for 13. Dude, yeah. um, I thought you were going to grab yeah, those totally. and try. And that was, that, I thought that was going to happen. I, were you I, not, like, working on that? No, well, I, once I, it, so it was about an hour 30 left, and I realized, like, damn, I didn't grab that Mesmer Grace. And then it was kind of like, all right, I can get the perfume. I know I wanted, I knew I wanted to do, like, with, like, 10 minutes left, I wanted to go get the DLC. I'm so sorry for the misclick on the DLC armor sets, too. Oh, wait, I didn't even see that. <laughs> no, oh, you had the, they. No, the armor set. The, uh, oh, the armor sets. Your oh my misclick yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Misclick, yeah. <laughs> honestly I was like so aware of like everything that I was doing and like every time I was like wait for the dragon hearts wait for this wait for this Aww. and I didn't wait and I think it's because the NPC boss square like blinded me or something mm. and, yeah, that makes a ton of sense yeah that enemy you just hit like enemy felled and then yeah because uh, it takes like a hot second before dude, that armor it's got there fucking dumb like that I whatever <laughs> it's, uh, obviously it's me but I'm just so stupid for that no 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 um but i'm not gonna lie like it you so i was in i was fighting my second npc when you clicked that too okay and then and after that i just like abandoned all thoughts of a plan and then i was pretty much playing catch up yeah and block like after that that was my your hippo play was so good like i oh, i was, I was like <laughs> like when we played me and Pooh the other day he kind of did the same thing with a square that i was like okay well this is the game i'm definitely gonna win now and then he blocked me like so randomly i was like how did you even do that and that happened again with the hippo i was like uh, one hit away or like one block right. away so i grabbed a hippo on the way to the hammer right and then I was in raw gonna, ruins. In raw ruins, and then and then I abandoned the hammer. I was like, I was like, uh, all right, I'm not, I'm not getting this like in this exact. Yeah, second. it's so mm -hmm. hard, Devonia. Mm -hmm. She's so bad. I, she's annoying. I, I was like, I was like three skidoo at the point at that time. It wasn't okay. a good. It was like wasn't a good play for me. I went twice. It was a bad play. It was such a long walk back. Yeah. So I abandoned that, and then I was setting up frenzy NPC, and I was like, oh, there's a hippo down there. And then yeah. I got the hippo, and then I was like, "Wait, I don't need the I don't need this frenzy NPC block anymore." So I abandoned yeah. that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Damn. Oh. Uh, no, you played you played so good. You you put me on like away from my plan immediately. So, okay. Well, that's yeah. good, I guess. Oh, I may I did make some bad plays. My own day play was bad, and I, dude. Pooh, I tried like four different bosses with the throwing shield. They were all I was like, "What the hell? Why is everyone so damn tanky?" <laughs> And then I ended up doing it on Mariga. And if I had to, I would have done perfume on Skidoo Tree. I like exhausted all easy boss options. <laughs> oh, I was, I, one uh, thing I was wondering here, by the way, for Pooh is 
why Skidoo Tree Avatar for the perfume bottles? You're very persistent on that. When it says, you know, you could do any boss. Um, you could have done Dane with perfume bottles. Uh, so wh why were you going for the Skidoo Tree Avatar with the perfume? Um, you know... Honestly, Domo, can I can I be real with you? Yes. Be so um, real. Can I be real? I just forgot that I had already not killed Dane. I don't know <laughs> why. But because Dane was on my plant, you know, I don't know why, but I thought I had killed Dane already. And that happens. You know, honestly, honestly, what I should have done was just like, you know, get Romania with it is honestly what I should have been doing. And um, the the real reason why I kept going back there was one, I was it was over and I wanted the practice with her. Yeah. Um, and two, that's the that's the one I did this morning. So uh, and that, that that's the only boss I've ever killed with a perfume. I think ever. it's good. That's just a good like it's if you know the boss fight, the damage is there for sure. It's just long. And yeah. in hindsight, Domo, you're you're right, Dane. Would have. I don't know why, but in my mind, in that moment, I was like, "Well, she already killed Dane, so I can't kill Dane." <laughs> oh no! I even what? thought about. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Guys, it's all I good. got. No, it's okay. I, yeah, yeah. I totally went. I like had a plan for the three minutes, and then it like my brain scrambled. I I could not have played worse, which I think is like a good thing for me. Like I I fell off so many places I never fall off before. So many gravity deaths, like. I don't think I could have played worse, which is probably like the best thing for me. Only up from here. <laughs> only, yeah, only up from here. I mean, if it makes Were you, you all feel feeling... better. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. No, <laughs> go for it, Parky. I was just gonna say, if it makes you feel better, the whole after the golden hippo or after the kill two hippos, I don't know what you were thinking, but I was like, it's literally over for me. I can't win this anymore. <laughs> oh, after the two. So after the two hippos, after the two hippos, I should have rushed back to Romania. It, it just yeah, again yeah. i had no but i at that point i was like my brain was scrambled and i was just okay, like sure. trying to click things off. so you weren't freaking uh, out like i was oh god um i thought you were yeah. cooking like a crazy ceiling tree euphoria boss perfume <laughs> i was like he's gonna parry romina or something like something, yeah oh. it's something insane that'd be awesome yeah. uh, don't worry i was not gonna parry romania i get the only one i'm parrying is Rolana, so don't yeah okay well anyway uh, uh, ggs yeah. to you guys though i gotta i gotta GG's. get into the next match here very soon um but i appreciate you guys stopping in for the interview great first match of the season Thank uh, you. and uh, GG's so again fun. to Parky for getting the uh, the dub today. The dub. Um, we are going to see uh, someone twice this week. I'm not. I don't. I have to look at the schedule me. again. Me, I'm I'm on Sunday. All right, perfect. Yeah, we'll see Pooh again on Sunday. Pooh, who are you facing? Do you know? Mm, I want to say it's Aggie. Okay. Uh, well, know. most likely we'll see on Sunday. <laughs> Um, I, don't know. I don't know. Somebody on Sunday, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. No That's worries, somebody. no worries. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see Poo again on Sunday. Uh, Parky, GG's again, GG's again for the dub. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, man. Thanks so much for playing today. Thanks for yep. having me. See ya. That was a sick Bye. first match. GG's Thanks, guys. guys. Thank GGs. you. Thank you. Bye bye. GG's. Bye. All righty, man. Hot damn. That is the first match. We're going to go ahead and go into a quick BRB section here. Trying to get our players ready for our, their next match. Aggie versus Chris coming up here. Two uh, colossal players going to be facing off in day one already uh, for the round robin matches. Uh, please stay tuned as we're going to be back here in about five to ten minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, hold I on. Love you, chat. I got to check something real quick. Hold on. Pausing. We're holding. Checking. Holding. Uh, and I'm then, holding and pausing. Boom. And yes. boom. All right. Thank you very much, chat. We'll be right back.